You are about to experience the Drunken Peasants podcast, the greatest podcast in human history. Please recognize that this podcast is designed to be amusing and entertaining, and thus we engage in satirical comments, exaggerations, and even dirty jokes. If you are offended by such things, please go away and die. If you enjoy this podcast, we ask that you help to support its existence by contributing to our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash DP. Contributors get regular access to monthly private shows, special commentaries, Google Hangouts with the peasants, and more. If you don't want to do that, you can also support the show by visiting audibletrial.com forward slash drunken peasants to get a free audiobook and access to over 150,000 and audiobook titles, including great selections on science and skepticism. And if you shop on Amazon.com, we strongly urge you to use one of the Amazon affiliate links in the description section of our videos. You can help support the show simply by using our link to buy things you are going to buy anyway. Now that we've got all that shit out of the way, sit back and enjoy the show. Yes, we are back. The drunken peasants have returned. Boom. Back from the dead. Kaboom. I can never die. And of course, you always die. We're here. I can never die. We're here to celebrate the birthday of Anthony Fantano. I don't give a fuck. Anthony Fantano. Oh, TJ, the constant contrarian. Oh, you want to celebrate a birthday? I don't give a fuck. I don't a recognize fuck. birthdays. Yeah. Unless it's my birthday. Yeah, yeah. Then, then I ask people to give me presents. Give me presents. I, in fact, I think people should give me presents for Anthony Fantano's birthday. You think, yeah. but it's not going to happen. Oh, it could happen if I really wanted it to. <laughs> oh, shit. He's cheating. He's like, I have the power. I hope people send you love. I have shit. the power. Still a present. That's a <laughs> I could use it to fertilize my yard. Yeah, whatever. You don't give a shit. You don't do yard work. Yeah. <laughs> That's ridiculous. She just pulled like two weeds in I his could life. Have my, uh, I could have my uh, Mexican gardeners do it. <laughs> Jose, p- pluck them weeds. No, his name is Jesus. We're going to have Anthony Fantano on in just a moment. It, Jesus, I don't recognize <laughs> But of course, before we get Anthony on, uh, you know, we got to, you know. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Get some money! Give us your money! So we may spend it on drugs. Drugs are fucking awesome. Drugs. Anyone who doesn't do drugs fucking sucks. Fuck you, what, if what if the only drug they do is Tylenol? That is a drug. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I meant recreational drugs. Oh, now ah, there's a caveat. Sem- semantics game again with TJ. Shut up. It's pretty <laughs> obvious. Some, take I some mean. aspirin, oh, everyone. It's so obvious. It is. It's obvious, guys. You're an obvious troll, Ben. <laughs> We're all trolls. Smoke <laughs> pan every day. Oh, we got some shirts yeah, back on bitches. sale. Doesn't look like they're all back on sale. No, yet, some but some are. They're slowly being retired, so you have to get them before they're retired. Yeah, we got the uh, you know we got the drunken peasants official shirt, drunken peasants official hoodie, band TJ official hoodie, the TJ is garbage shirt, and uh, the official band TJ shirt. Yeah, and the next time we take a break, we'll play a slideshow of the thousands. Literally thousands of people. Thousands. That have fucking DP shirts. The thousands in attendance and the millions watching at home. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Loved by thousands, hated by <laughs> millions. The Drunken Peasants Podcast. Uh, death, uh, death Race reference, huh, TJ? Yep. Think I didn't catch that, did you, buddy? No, I was actually trying to plagiarize it. Jacqueline Glenn told me it would work. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, shit. But I guess you're TJ, too sharp for me. TJ, come on, man. Come on, TJ. You're too sharp, Scotty. <laughs> Too sharp. Am I going to cut you, TJ? Yeah. Cut your fucking brain out of your head. A lot of people ask why Scotty has such a nasally voice. It's because he has a deviated <laughs> septum. What, what do you mean? I don't have a nasally voice. <laughs> <laughs> that should be your new voice for the show from now on. <laughs> this is my voice. It is my voice, I say. 
Nasally? Unhand me, you fiend! What are you talking about, nasally? My voice isn't nasally. Yeah, I have a fucking deviated septum. A fucking condition from birth, you pieces of shit. Yeah, quit health shaming. You fucking ableist. Fucking ableist pieces of shit. Fucking ableist everywhere. Boo to you. All right. Uh, happy birthday. Yeah. Happy, happy birthday, happy birthday. Bitch. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> TJ said he wants presents for your birthday, so send TJ a present for your birthday. Yes. Okay. All right. That's what, what everyone. Do you want, TJ? Everyone, send me president presents. For presidents. Send everyone, send presidents. presidents. Can I? Dead pres. Dead presidents. I'll, yeah. I'll I'll have Bill Clinton pay you a visit. TJ. Yeah, TJ. No, I'm thinking about Benjamin Franklin. Send me that. That's a, uh, oh, you want to, you want like the, his pile of bones, basically. Sure, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna fucking. Because that's what you'd have. At I'm this gonna point. turn his femur into a fucking sick bong somehow. It's gonna be great. That'd be pretty sweet. So, Anthony, it's your birthday. It is. You guys are making it so far. How how old are you now? Oh, dude, I'm thirty. I'm the three zero. You're wow. Just, you're just a little behind me. Yeah. You know, in every way. Yeah, I, I just turned <laughs> I just turned 30. He's he's always behind you, TJ. Especially wow. especially in the shower. I know, I feel him there. It's hard. Most people probably couldn't detect something that small, but <laughs> oh, you know. You're no one to talk about that, TJ. Uh, I to am. Talk, That's how dude. I know. Jesus I have plenty of room Christ. to talk. You fucking micro penis bitch. Hey, it's it's a grower, not a shower. You know what I'm saying? I doubt that. It's true. It's just there. It's just like what happened. It's it like gets, it is what it is. I, it's it's small. It's it small when it's soft. The but banana video. It was not showing. No, the no. Wh video, what happens? Understand. What happens? But you know, when I get an erection, it's like 25 inches long. Oh yeah, you will. Oh, by dude. the way, TJ, people are pointing out that you don't know shit, and that Benjamin Franklin was not a president. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so it's true. There you go. Yeah, valid fucking point. Well, no one here was smart enough to point it out, so I don't feel too bad. <laughs> well, th well, the clear implication is you wanted money, which we all know you're a greedy piece of yeah. shit. Right. I mean, I Bre mean Brett Keen fucking outed you. Everyone on that. knows that dead presidents is a fucking slang term for money. So. Yeah, but not all the people on money were presidents. Like yeah. Alexander yeah. Hamilton. Hamilton, true on the ten dollar yeah. bill. Yeah. They're on he the money. They're honorary. He should have been president. honorary president. He's an honorary president. They're money presidents. <laughs> they're, they're money presidents. Okay. <laughs> if you're a founding father, you know, that goes a long way, too. That's true. Yeah, we definitely like to suck their dicks in America. The founding fathers, they were so wise, unless they weren't wise, and then we'll just pretend we don't agree with them on that one thing they said one time. Like the fact that Thomas Jefferson uh, edited all the miracles out of like the, the Bible. You know, that's just like, oh, we'll gloss over that part of it. Or his little slave babies. Yeah, slave babies, too. You know. Hey, don't touch that Second Amendment, though. Don't Don't touch it. It's enshrined, dude. Okay, shit. You can't fuck with it. Shit. I was gonna touch it, but you're right. You're right. Everyone will accept um, the curtailing of, of all their other liberties, but oh yeah, they just passed. What is it? The uh, uh, that one bill, like the uh, CISA bill or something? That was just passed by the Senate. So the NSA can take more of our privacy away. Wee! Fuck you, Fourth Amendment. Or are you guys excited for? Uh, are you guys excited for Paul Ryan? He's going to be taking John Boner's place. <laughs> no, I'm actually not because no. you know it was so fun to say uh, boner. It's like boner, 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 yeah, and that, then Ryan. And, that's... and he was drunk all the time, so that was hilarious. And he was and he was uh, orange. Yeah, yes, obscenely tanned. And Maybe yet... hey guys, give Paul Ryan a chance. I'm sure that now he's rising to this new prominent position. A lot of crazy stuff is gonna. Paul start Ryan out about is him. so fucking boring. Like... No, you know that's just his external. Fiction, you know, once people actually discover what he's really like deep down inside, I'm sure he'll be fun. Also, I don't no, think he tries. It's, it's just so that he, it's it's just so that people drop their guard because he seems like nice on the surface, but once you actually see his budgetary suggestions, you you know he's a fucking maniac. Oh yeah, let's let's basically just do away with uh, Medicare. It's like we'll give people vouchers, but with inflation, won't that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. You know. It's also, like... apparently, he's into Rage Against the Machine. He's a big Rage fan. <laughs> That, that is strange. <laughs> he he and may he, like and their and music, he, but I don't think he agrees with their a, politics. He's, he's just well, a hipster. Well, he, he, he likes it ironically. This, he announced this, and then apparently, like, uh, what once the media caught wind of it, Tom Morello said, like, fuck you or something. <laughs> uh, I, I think that's like the only course of action you could take at that point. <laughs> 
So, so Anthony, uh, tell us about the whole thing where you were on the news as the shooter. Oh that my was God. pretty interesting. It, it actually, uh, the, the article in the video Why did you that kill you guys those referenced people? Um, was actually the, the biggest instance of it happening and the first kind of major instance of it happening. Uh, there were actually a few other examples, like a nationally broadcast Italian station, a Mexican station, and a few, <laughs> as, as far as I could tell, a few like local American affiliates too, like, you know, what, whatever you would turn on in the morning to sort of see what the hell the traffic is in your area. <laughs> yeah. Um, ran my fucking picture and um it, it was mostly because the the mainstream media had sort of waited because uh, i don't know i think some people in some newsrooms decided they wanted to take some kind of moral stance and they were like we're, we're not going to release his picture we're not going to release his picture we're not releasing the picture maybe they super super wanted to verify that this picture that was floating around the internet was in fact him so for about a day or so we knew that the shooting happened but they weren't putting his picture on the news but the thing is the internet already had a hold of his picture so of course where his picture was uh, being posted all over the place on Twitter and on 4chan too and and people on 4chan especially on the music board are obsessed with me uh, they started making these comparisons right away that we looked alike so as a result when the news <laughs> media finally started going on to social media started going on to 4chan where allegedly he had made a post before doing what he did uh, there were all these photos of me as well plus when a lot of these news organizations were Google searching his name my picture was coming up right away in the fucking Google image search how, how so, convenient I know and and the thing is all the pictures that people had of him were these grainy dark Instagram photos but the pictures uh, all right we've had enough of your fucking lies why did you kill those people <laughs> <laughs> You know, I've just been asked that question so many times over the past, you know, few weeks or so. And I just I just don't, you know, I don't I don't know. I don't know. You're it's, not sure it's why probably, there's probably just not enough good albums coming out this year. I can understand that. Yeah. That makes sense. I was probably broken hearted that the Manson album wasn't, wasn't, wasn't as, as great as I thought it was going to be. That's all. Yeah. Right. Well, you're so sad. Blasphemy. Manson inspires yet another fucking shooting. That's that's true. He's he's a horrible person, and if his music wasn't around, I think we would be living in a, a, a world that's a lot less violent. Yeah, you know, even that guy that stabbed, Paradise Lost, even man. that guy that stabbed all those people in Sweden and was a big fan of mine. Apparently, he had some Manson tracks on there, so I'm like, you know, this is yet another one they could pin on Manson if they really wanted to. You you had a fan who stabbed people? Yeah, I did. What? In Sweden. Yeah, in Sweden. Yeah, some did. dude in Sweden. I think he was also a fan of Repsion. Yeah. Also. He was a fan of Repsion. He was a fan of me. Well, it was definitely Repsion that did it then. He pretty much just... If you play, like, uh, TJ and Repsion's videos back in tandem, it basically... You could, you could, the whole plan is just you could decode un, it. Yeah, it's on, it's on, it just unfurled in front of you. It's, yeah, it's he, sickening. Some dude went to a sc uh, school wearing some like uh, it looks like a Darth Vader, -esque. Darth Vader, Cobra Commander looking black, weird getup. I, th I think he had a sword though. Yeah, he had a sword, and he oh. went and he went in the halls, and he posed for a photo with two people who thought he was in a Halloween costume. And then a teacher came out and asked what was going on, and he just like stabbed her in the gut, and then he started going after more people. He ended up, like, stabbing four people with the sword and killing two. Wait, how recent was this? Uh, like last super week? recent. Super yeah. recent. Last, last week? Last fucking week? Yes. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, and, wow. and TJ is definitely responsible. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I did put subliminal messages in several of my videos telling people to do sword attacks, but... Get the know. sword. Stab, stab, stab. I didn't think it was going to work, you know? <laughs> You know, it's, it's like Ozzy. It's really the reverse you, yeah, you play it, you play it backwards, you know, and and you hear me telling people to stab each other. Well, you just you did that whole video about not nuking uh, the Middle East, and I think it's just reverse psychology. You're telling people not to be violent, but we really know as your audience that you're telling people to fucking kill people. Yeah, I mean, oh, I think that's obvious. Spot on. Specifically uh, with swords. Specifically in Sweden. Oh, in Sweden, at schools. Yep. Yep. Swedish people watch need out. To dress like grab Cobra swords and dress like supervillains and stab each other, and I, that is what I believe. That is one of my core convictions. Well, it's just because atheists being. have no moral conscience, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, that's why the, would they? That's the whole reason I became an atheist. So I wouldn't have to obey the laws of God. You know, I just wanted to be able to do any immoral thing I wanted. 
I wish I had found out about the living man thing first. I probably would have went with that, but, you know, atheism, it, 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 it's fine. It's a close second. You know, I'm, oh, I'm comfortable with it. You can't be a living man and an atheist at the same time? No, unfor no. unfortunately you cannot. You have to choose. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm working on trying to combine the ideologies into the living atheist, but... Yeah. I am the living atheist. Do you we know, know where he is? Because if we do, I would actually be interested in converting. <laughs> to living manism. <laughs> living yeah, manism. But one of the things I love about that fucking video is that he's sort of going on about nature and all this shit. And I don't know, his clothes look really rootsy, but then all of a sudden, after all of it, he gets into a fucking SUV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At the very end of it. And I don't know what. He should have, like, whipped out an iPhone or something. And then, like, you know, been like, come on, guys. We did a good job here. Let's go to Red Lobster. I am the wind. <laughs> The wind uh, is calling me, telling yeah, me. Yeah, it would have been awesome if, like, a Bentley had just pulled up and, like, a driver gets out. You know, it's like, <laughs> your door, sir. And he just goes away. And you're like, what just happened? Oh, man. Yeah, I would just I would just love to see uh, more people try to, uh, to, to to take that same position in, uh, in, in a court in a, in, a, in a court and just kind of see how far it gets them. We need to just all become living people. What is that? What, what are the other stupid one the people do? Will be forced to recognize. See, what's the stupid one people that they claim like they're they're not a citizen or something? Like they're not subject they're to the natural. Law. They're natural citizens. Yeah, they're natural citizens. I love that one too. They, there's so many videos online of them getting arrested. Like I'm a natural citizen. You can't do this. Then they get tased. And they start screaming on the ground. You're like, <laughs> you're like, you know what? It's fucked up. The, pol the police brutality is fucked up and it's wrong. But this is pretty fucking funny. I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, this is pretty fucking. Funny. Funny. Scotty says police brutality well, not, is funny. Not the one where they just grab the girl at her desk, but like where it's like morons, you're like, yeah, you know, I, I can't really feel too bad about it. You heard it here first. Scotty approves of police brutality. I guess in a way I do. I mean, <laughs> you guys have watched the greatest plenty. thing ever. I think you guys have watched plenty of those videos. I think I saw TJ and Ben jerking off to them, but I guess they disapprove of it. Hold so on. They feel, they feel dirty. No, you I wasn't jerking you. off to the police brutality in the videos. I can't believe I said you were the greatest thing about the drunken peasants, you fucking piece of shit. Yeah, I know. I, I am a piece of shit. I admit it. <laughs> <laughs> Play a video. All right. Yeah. Troll or not a troll. Here we go. So, uh, oh, I yeah. am going this to speak really my good thoughts one. on teen pregnancy. And How are those boobs talking? Yeah, so, basically, oh. <laughs> what's going I on? I myself would not have a kid this young. <laughs> Just because, like, I can't even do my eyeliner equally. Right. So what makes me think I'll be able to take care of a kid? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Seems like a That's troll. That's the first thing. Then, like, the second thing is, is, like, why would you, like, ruin your pussy? Like, such young <laughs> pussy. Like, you could be a porn star. You could be a doctor. You could be troll. a Ah, uh, troll. You Come could on, be a porn troll. star. Like, Buy a record, Pete. Be a guys, doctor, or a, doctor guys, or a lawyer. To me, her her reasoning is completely sound thus far. I, I, I can't say I agree. I mean, I, I can't say I disagree right now. It's like he's like he's I like mean, girl, girl, don't wreck that pussy. Anthony <laughs> Fontana, you, hey, you quote him on people, that. Some people are very pushy, pussy conscious. Okay. Well, you know what? I I, I understand. You know, what? I commend you, sir. Okay. You know, I'm just I'm just saying her her reasoning is sound thus far. I don't disagree. <laughs> I, I think, honestly, I mean, I, I think, I think, uh, I think even the most cursory of reasons are good reasons not to get teen pregnant, but whatever, you know, <laughs> you know, maybe they want to start young. They, they fucking, they're reading some books. You're like, you know, Hey kids, you know, 13 years old, we're having fucking uh, kids. You know, why not? They got to keep it going. Medieval peasants. They had something going. They, they knew what was going on. I mean, it's sure. They live short books. lives, but yeah. you could die at any, you could die at any day. You could die any moment. You might, you might as well have some kids now. That's so, true. Still if you're really worried about if you're really worried about your mortality and your legacy, start pumping them out as early as possible. Oh yeah. But make sure that you learn to do your eyeliner even on both eyes first before you start having kids. <clears throat> it's a pretty Why would you ruin parenthood. it like pushing out some random like whale out of your pussy like no, you're gross. Pushing out a random whale. <laughs> a red? Yeah, that would be gross. You know, it's just like, uh, like, and, and you'd be dead as well. She, she's, she's gonna push a, a blue whale out of her pussy. Of there, correct. That would be pretty funny to see, though. Yeah, just all of a sudden an animal birth just coming out of there. 
<laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. We're, we're, we're getting to your fetishes now. I mean, what's going on here? She I'm drops saying, a fully you know, developed. You're just board. saying, all right, but you threw it out there. I ain't gonna judge you. Okay, don't judge me, please don't. I'm not. I'm don't not gonna judge. judge. I'm, not, I'm not gonna don't judge. judge your guests. <coughs> so is the consensus troll? <laughs> oh yeah, complete fucking troll. I, I don't see. Know. I mean, I think uh, I'm gonna say not a troll, but oh, that means you're garbage. Garbage. <laughs> garbage. Th three to one. Democracy in action. Democracy yes. wins again. <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> you look at Mario. Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say that Alex Jones is still my favorite. The Alex he just Jones has the best expression. I don't know. The, the matinee is a close second. The matinee. You, <laughs> you, you said uh, you said people to call me a matinee. <laughs> what? That's just that was what you see the depths of fucking Brett Keith's total <laughs> ignorance. Just like the unfathomable depths of stupidity. You called me a matinee. It's like what? That doesn't that that, even make any fucking sense. Like you retard. <laughs> if, 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 honestly, I, I can say this. If Brett Keaton like was dead, I, w I just wouldn't even care. Be the one, one of the fucking few oh people God. in the world. <laughs> he was dead in a fucking ditch. I wouldn't be like, oh, oh man, it's terrible. I, I, I don't, I don't know. I'd be pop, popping a fucking champagne cork. Fuck that dude. Scotty, come on. I don't ease care if he knows up. it. Scotty, ease up. You don't want to create a situation here. With individuals. Oh, you're right. I take everything back, but I still hate his. I, actually, I love him, but I hate his family. Okay, I, I take it back. That fuck, you, fuck your family, Brad Keen. But I love you. This picture reminds me of this Vine clip I saw of him where he's just like slamming papers on the desk and he's like, they're putting chemicals in the water. They've turned the freaking frogs gay. Wow. You can do his voice pretty well, actually. Do it again. Do it. They've turned the freaking frogs gay. <laughs> That's awesome. Ah, uh, now you should do an Alex Jones parody video, dude. You can nail it. The frogs are. <laughs> yeah, you know. What? Oh you, yeah. You can read it. Uh, <coughs> you can read Craigslist as Alex Jones. That would be amazing. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we've ever done that before, so that would be interesting. Yep. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll get to that. Theory in there somewhere, so it's fitting. Uh, Anthony, uh, before we move on here, I think I'm going to end the call and call you back really quick because the audio is really low and usually if we call you back, it gets better for some reason. If so, I turned it up on my <coughs> amp over here, will that maybe fix it? Possibly. You could try. I'll try to make a difference here. You could be making a difference. Does that help? I turned it up. Does that help? Is that better? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I, I, I think it. I think it's better now. I'm like watching TJ. Hey, you know, I, turned up, I turned it up oh. even more. Oh, okay, Hello. cool. Hey, hey, hey. Let me yeah. know if this is better. Yeah, I would it's say it's better. better. I'm watching TJ the moderator. He just looks like he doesn't even know where the fuck he is. Like for a second, he's like has this look on his face where he's like just kind of looking around, like where his, am I? First of all, his hair is all fucked up. Like you got by, the Bernie Sanders do going yeah. on <laughs> because because of the headphones, like. It's it's pretty. <laughs> it's, it's pretty fun. He, he just looked like he's like, what's going on? Yeah, where am ah. I? Whoa, bro. Is that what's going on? I don't know. Uh, read between the fucking lines on that one. <laughs> so, videos. All right, next video is uh, G Time Johnny. LOD defeats any GOD man ever masturbated to. Oh, okay. Of, of course. We all <laughs> know this. That's the title. <laughs> <laughs> we already knew this going into this video. I don't understand what's, what needs to be explained. Yeah, uh, being a dead horse here, but all right. <laughs> oh, gosh. The pink shirt. We're all pink inside. Okay. Uh, that's true. This video is about Lord. <clears throat> Not the Lord or the God. <clears throat> That the others like. This is about literacy. The dog looks so uncomfortable. Though. Literacy of yeah, what? Not, the yeah, dog is also began. awesome. Yes, yes, the dog is awesome, but the dog kind of just looks like, what's going on? Maybe you know, maybe the dog understands. Why G -time. would the dog 
look any other way than that. I mean, it doesn't know what's going Dude, on. Dude, the fucking dog... Okay, actually, the dog does. It's not a word slave like you. This dog actually has a <laughs> G-time figured the fuck out. Yeah, it, Is that dog a word slave, TJ? It only sees <laughs> Earth time objects and stuff. There you go. This fucking dog is actually a goddamn fucking genius, and we're idiots. This dog could also be a part of a mentality that's totally different from his, where he believes that cameras steal his dog's soul, which is why he's looking away, because direct eye contact with the camera sucks the soul straight out of the head. <laughs> wow. Or maybe there's a squirrel over there. That's true, too. <laughs> Where it's going, I don't know. But how it began, I could tell you. It was that if you look back in my videos, you'll see me doing this a whole bunch. Yeah. Earth, man, earth, man. You know, strict inheritance. Right. Man. All right but they, man. I'm just watching the dog. Earth. Strict inheritance. <laughs> None of that fucking... Namby pamby kinda sorta inheritance. We need strict inheritance. That means something. Just those two words by themselves. So much meaning. There needs to be a G Time Johnny and Living Man crossover. <laughs> it, it just it just fucking has to happen. They need to get together. They fucking do, man. I want to see them have a debate. Yes. On whether you know G Time <laughs> is the truth or Living Manism is the truth. That would be epic, man. You know it would be fucking. Why hilarious. not throw Gail in while you're at it? She could be the moderator. Mo moderated by Gail Cordula, <laughs> and she can ask all the questions to the candidates. It'll all be about Brent Spiner and Jesuits. They could be the official pre uh, president of the Drunken Peasants podcast. I would register for college again if uh, G Time Johnny did a lecture, did a lecture series, or did like a 300 level class in, in G Time. <laughs> <On> G Time. <laughs> Oh my god. Everyone would pass the course because it, you know you would never fail anyone and there'd be no grades. It'd just be like G time and you're just like yeah, alright. Yeah, basically to pass you're just like yes, I understand it. G time is good. <laughs> yeah, That's what I would do. Yeah. <laughs> I'd just be like this all makes sense. I just, I'm just i not going to explain it to you because I don't want to be a word slave. Yep. But Laud goes back. This is Laud. Alright, it goes back even farther. Alright, yeah. is that that this yeah. equals matter. Matter. All right. All right. You know, you know, the second one that you did means I, I believe means fuck you in the UK. If you really? go like that. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Yeah. In Australia too. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you, bitches. Fuck this you, everybody in the universe. Energy. Energy. You put the two together uh -huh. and you have law. What do you like better, Ooh, TJ? Yeah. Do you like this better or do you like this better? Take it. If, if, you know, as far as energy and matter, and what blossom, the world sheep, you know, uh, processes is all energy and matter. But then we have an extra. Yeah, so the dog does uh, no fucking G time. Man. See, okay, so everyone, uh, everyone in the UK that's watching the show could make a meme out of this. Yeah, that's true. Oi, fuck you, you cunt. Yeah, basically. G time Johnny is flipping you guys yeah. off with your weird little fuck you gesture. Yeah. This is how G time Johnny feels about those yeah. fuckers. She's like, this is what I think about you guys. <laughs> What's up? What's up, bitch? Yeah. And uh, <coughs> granted, they are, you know, they are, they ha are energy and matter, but if you'll see in the drawings that they're not. You know, married to the energy because we are the thinking energy and we have to process it. All right, so anything that needs us to exist is this. You know, it's kind of like um, if you look at what's flowing through our body electromechanically, it's the same as what's flowing in the, um, um, you know, to our houses. <laughs> That's driving all the electricity. Flowing the electricity to going to our houses is the same okay. as what's in our body, except that's conducted by co copper, and this is conducted by by uh, by um, um, NATO biology or biology. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I guess I guess at at rest or in action, the the human body does. Doesn't the human body conduct some incredibly low levels of electricity? We're Maybe such good batteries that the Matrix wants us exactly. just for that purpose, you know? Exactly. We're in it right now. Exactly. Humming away. So, I mean, you know, it makes sense to me. And uh, I hope that if an alien civilization ever visits the desolate ruins of what once was our planet, that 
G Time Johnny's uh, YouTube videos somehow survive because that's really what what they need to see to understand the human condition. <laughs> You know, I hope they they watch that should it. that should be on uh, the the probes that we've launched that are like leaving the solar system. Yeah, because you know, if anyone can understand this shit, it's going to be an advanced <laughs> alien race. Yep, and hopefully they'll know what to do with it because it's just too brilliant for us. We can't even decipher the genius of it. We we know that it is brilliant because what we are able to glean is you know, so powerful and so evocative. He, he's just more right. evolved than you, TJ. He's more evolved. He yeah, just, you know. He surpassed you. It's like an ant trying to comprehend the words of God. You know, it's it's impossible. I love the confidence with which he says all this stuff. It's as if it had been taught to him at a very young age, and he's telling it to all of us as now this sage of a, of a very large community where everyone just sort of functions on this mindset. It's really convincing. I feel like he learned it from a woman named Lucy. Ah. Mm. Yeah. And so and Definitely so the only theory. thing difference is huh. is that we think and it doesn't. All right? Houses? Electricity doesn't think, but you know, physics aware thinking energy does think. All right, that's what's in Blossom. Oh, that poor dog. That's what's in me. That's what's in you. And that's what the literacy object stands for. Yeah. All right, but then when you add man things, you know that the we have our own biology that the energy rides. I did not flip you off. <laughs> All right, you and did so actually, and in so the UK and, and in yeah, Australia. what the fuck, man? Damn. G time Johnny is hardcore. That's fuck what you too, G time Jimmy. Are you combining them? Is that? What it's a double insult. Yeah. Yeah, bitch. It's a double insult to everyone there. Fuck this guy. He's a real shit stirrer. Yeah, he, I can always just tell him about him. <laughs> Troll. Troll. <laughs> Troll. I would. You it. know, that it would be an awesome troll if it was, but I really don't think no, it is. No, he's, he's not. <laughs> You just can't handle. He's really the only person I enjoy on Crazy People. All the other ones are just fucking despised. Yeah, yeah, he's he's all right. Yeah, no, he's very he's very nice. He's very pleasant. He's very friendly, and there's nothing that seems like dangerous or off putting about what he's saying. No, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna have him on again, eventually here. He's launching something. We're gonna talk to him about ICP. Launching oh yeah, something? yeah, an app, yeah. G time app, something. I I. I I didn't get all the details, but he said he was launching something. Oh, it's going to be great. Yeah. Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll be but useful to yet, all humanity. Uh, G-Time Johnny posted a ICP playlist of the ICP songs that he likes best. What? <laughs> yeah. Fucking shit. <laughs> And I used to, I used to love some ICP back in junior high. S Sip and hit fuck, fucking Fago, dude. Me too. G time, man. G like me too. I want the Fago. Give me a fucking I wasn't drink. Talking Fago. I was about bumping, oh ICP fan. I was about bumping ICP in junior high and shit. You love bizarre, TJ. I remember that shit. Yeah. You love that shit. It was, it was a simpler time. Everybody was listening to ICP and Wu Tang and Eminem. Nobody knew what was bad or good. We, we all just liked. Our, our gimmicky, loud, angry rap music. Didn't matter if it was coming from New Yorkers or clowns. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was a purer time. It was. A time less mired in self-indulgence. Yeah. Real Before sad. That the times. amazing atheist channel came onto YouTube. I know, and ruined people's up. lives, you know? People still bought DVDs, you know, p tiny, like, small pieces of plastic for $20 that are manufactured for a dollar. Yeah, it was a simpler time. <laughs> a purer time. But then it really went downhill when that needle drop fuck came around. God, oh, that fuck, was the worst. You're right. You're right. <laughs> but then it got even worse when the drunken peasants got on fucking YouTube. Jesus. Yeah. That no, was, no, no, no. That was, that was when everything eroded. That's like, In all true. fairness, the this show is a cesspool of horrible things yes. that people probably should not watch. Anyway, what's, what's the next horrible thing that people should probably not watch? You. <laughs> 23 October uh, 2015. Uh, to the members finally, of Comedy Central, a voice press of contact for the Colbert Report, Renata Luxak and Eve Kenny, editor in chief David Daly at Salon.com, editor Paul DeCray at the Daily Mail, editor in chief of Gawker Tommy Craggs, president and editor in chief of the Huffington Post Ariana Huffington, 
Executive Editor of Alternet, Don Hazen. The Editor of Daily Coast, Marcos Molitsas. Editor at the New York Times, Jen Baquette. Editor of the London Times, John Withero. Editor of the LA Times, Devon Maharaj. And finally, to the Editor of the San Diego Union Tribune, Jeff Light. I am a woman who is being harassed online for being a feminist. Ugh. Feminists online are every day. Oh, this video uh, is still on? on? Um, has, in, has this video been on for an hour or something? Incorrect. Incorrect. Um, Jenny, you're not harassed online because you're a feminist. You're harassed online because you're a moron. I love her <laughs> professional demeanor in this video. She's broken out the suit jacket and everything. Yeah. <laughs> of course, yeah. you would immediately judge what a woman is wearing, you misogynist. And uh, it was very. If a man was in this video, you'd never care or comment about his appearance. It's very uh -oh. bold of her to go with that semi bowl cut thing she's got going on. Oh, yeah. of course. <laughs> now she can be shamed for having a you non traditional know, haircut. You know what it kind of reminds me of when TJ had bangs? Yeah. I think it's a very <laughs> traditional haircut. I believe um, the last time I saw that haircut was in the Three Stooges. So that's that's going pretty far back. Yeah, it is. That's, that's going now she back. Just needs, now she just needs the Hitler mustache. And <laughs> <laughs> the time machine is complete. I intend to get open. Private information posted online, such as email, home address, home phone, IP address, etc., <coughs> for the express purpose of silencing them or getting them to leave online spaces. The threat for women like me is that someone that's may not a threat to exclusive to women. That's a threat. Ex <laughs> that's a threat that happens yes. to anybody who as shares as an opinion. As we know, on the I'm internet, if you try to threaten a man, it just regarding a particular person responsible. They for shut the it down immediately. Uh, you know, I was gonna respond to it. It's like it's so stupid. I mean, I imagine it's probably more insane for you, TJ, but I mean, even just reviewing fucking music, like my personal information's turn up online. I've gotten death threats just up the fucking ass. Yeah, I sent uh, you some after that fucking Manson oh, thank review, you. so. Thank you. I could tell which ones were yours. They were, um, they were a little sexual in nature. Yeah, I'm a, yeah, little, oh, yeah. I'm a real it's kinky common. guy, you know? Yep. Online harassment, which has led to a feminist by the name of Anita Sarkeesian to receive a bomb threat at a speaking event um, in hold on. Utah. They are already aware of Anita Sarkeesian. She's a mainstream media figure at this point. Um, and pe the, her bomb threat, the only reason you know about her bomb threat is because it was well covered. So w do you really think you're telling the Huffington Post and all these other major yeah, publications? the websites that she's bringing up right now. Right. It's like, I'm going to regurgitate to you information that you already know. Well, in the feminist community, this is a big thing now because, like, uh, I think there was, like, a South by Southwest thing that was about Gamergate that was canceled due to threats. And now the feminists are like, they're just going to try to make threats to keep us out of the space. And it's like, I think, I think the feminists have plenty of spaces they've talked about this, like, and obviously yeah, people making threats is fucked up. I'm not going to defend that, but I mean, it's just kind of like the name of the game now. They just, they, these people on 4chan, these trolls just know how to push your guys' buttons, so they're just going to keep doing it. Anyone out there making threats, I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> she was featured on the Colbert threats Report over. earlier this year no to explain the again. terror she lives in because of her harassers online. Hmm. The user responsible for the major uprising online is a chemist living in the Czech Republic who goes by the name of Dr. Philip Mason, oh a.k.a. Thunderfoot. Who Thunder can Foot. we get on the case calling hey, oh. Philip huh. Mason? Yes. Um, ben, ben, when you Thunderfoot. saw Nita Sarkeesian, did it look like she was living in fear? Yeah, no. terror. Was she looking over her shoulder and shivering and nope. just totally freaking out and was she drenched like... in sweat no <laughs> was she but then after she took that surrounded by security she, yeah she, security right? everywhere she was afraid then she was afraid after she took that piece of, she, you took that picture you piece of garbage yeah she they scared anita sarkeesian all the way to the fucking bank all the she's, way to the bank. She's so she's so poor Anita Sarkeesian. She had to cancel her speaking engagement that she was getting paid over a hundred thousand dollars for. Yeah, and she still so got bad. to keep the money anyway. Poor Anita. Aw, she got to pay. She got paid uh, over a hundred thousand dollars for doing nothing. I feel so bad for her. Don't you guys? Hey, fundraising is really takes a lot of time. You can't just be doing scheduled talks. Because if you do, then you know, <clears throat> she got all that money afterwards. 
I'm, but, sorry, you know, I'm, sorry, Anita, I'm just sitting here waiting for her to finish that uh, fucking me. series. That's what I'm saying. Anita, uh, she doesn't have time to do a lot of these talks or anything or do these media interviews because she's so busy working on this, uh, you know, tropes versus women in video game series. You know, that's why they that come new, out in such an expedient manner. She just did that new Assassin's Creed review. I heard, I read somewhere that she invented a new type of review. Oh, really? What was that? Um, I don't know. I think she just kind of focused on the the lack of sexism in the game and uh, and the narrative of the game, and I, I think that qualified as a new genre of uh, of game review. Neat. This game is certified not sexist by Anita Sarkeesian. That's that was pretty much her conclusion, though. I she wish needs to get Anita, a little yeah. the Anita seal of approval. Yeah, they need to get That's the Anita seal of approval and put it on the games games. that she approves of, so that you know, as a feminist, this game was approved by Anita. Yeah, game developers are coming to Anita's house with fucking uh, you know briefcases filled with money. You oh approve of this God. one, right? If yeah, uh, Anita, I know this <laughs> is. Like <laughs> If you went to EB or like GameStop and there was like a giant fucking like golden seal with Anita's face on it and it just said on the game, not sexist, I would <laughs> fuck the fuck out of that store with that game. Yeah, you know? Oh, yeah. Because then you it, know. The quality is certified, the man. The SJW seal of approval. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, Anita, I guess eventually, though, the game companies would be like, yeah, bringing her money, and, and they she'd be like, well, this game is full of, you know, half-naked women that seem to be nothing more than sex objects, and then they, you know, give her a big envelope full of $100 bills, and like, take another look, and she's like, actually, I think that I see what your overall message was there with that. Yeah, female empowerment. Online. He has recently threatened to have the personal information of myself and a few other feminists online exposed because we have been protesting his abusive online behavior. A letter writing campaign was begun where a few feminists wrote letters to his employer listed on his Wikipedia page in order to express concerns about his actions. His retaliation yeah, was... Yeah, right. Okay, so basically... Disingenuous to the fucking core. They, they want him to be fired. Come on. You were trying to silence someone who has not engaged in troubling online behavior, who has simply tried to argue a position different than your own. You've tried to censor him by getting him fired. It didn't work because the people he works for are apparently too enlightened to fall for that stupid fucking bullshit. So now that the tables are turned, you're trying to turn to the mainstream fucking media and beg them to dig you out of your fucking hole. And she's claiming that he's threatening to release all of this information or something? Yeah. yeah. Because, because where is the proof of this? Has, has he emailed <laughs> her? I haven't seen a video where he's claiming that he'll do this. Right. Well, I mean, I don't know. Reveal the work and Yelp page of one of the feminists, Jennifer Keller, who was forced to remove her business website, Yelp account, YouTube account, and Twitter account, all due to the severe harassment <coughs> she was receiving. Whoa, uh, wait! No. You, you, okay, you guys decided, you took it upon yourself to write harassing letters about him to his work, and it's like, that's justified. But when it, what happens back to you, it's wrong. And it's in this is in there with one fucking minute, and they just don't even see the hypocrisy. They're stupid and they're sick. Began receiving phone calls to her home where people accused her of being a <coughs> pedophile, as well as other comments of a harassing nature. <coughs> this morning, someone called her Jenny McBullcut. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like fucking Lloyd Christmas from. <laughs> It's true. Dumb and dumber. Oh my god! <laughs> All of my private information was released on YouTube, and I removed my Yelp because a hacker sent me a private message warning me to remove it, as people can find the spots I frequent due to the reviews I've left. I also receive death and rape threats very often online, which I've screenshot and reported. We need to do something to fight this online harassment of women, and hopefully put an end to TJ, ever gotten death threats? Yep. Ever gotten rape threats? Probably. Okay. Well, those those you probably, like, saved or replied to. Yeah, I was like, but sure, <laughs> anytime. <laughs> I'm just going to lay down on my no, stomach. TJ, let you do as you will. TJ has never been threatened online. He's a man. Come on. Yeah, only women are threatened online. Right. Man. Yeah. Knows that. I've never been threatened online. No, never. I, it's impossible. Do it. 
Sarkeesian recently went to the United Nations and spoke out against the bullying that is extreme. It's kind of like when Brett Keen came on here and was like, see this video? This guy made one saying I'm gay. And then we're like, well, we have a video made by the same guy that has Scotty in it calling Scotty gay. Yeah, it's like, what's the point, Brett? And yeah. it's like, I don't know. I'm just an individual in my situation. So. Yeah. Born. No, nah, that guy was being serious. He knows Brett's gay. <laughs> Maybe on. Brett is gay. You don't know. ...prevalent in online spaces <coughs> and offered solutions to make minor changes that could protect people from being attacked at their jobs or their homes simply for being women online. However, <coughs> I am in desperate need of your help. Okay, I have look. a growing YouTube channel. I don't, I don't know if you understand this. So disingenuous. You're not just a woman online, all right? You're an opinionated jackass online. I know because I, too, am an opinionated jackass online. <laughs> all right? Opinionated jackasses are going to receive negative attention from people who don't agree with their bullshit. I think this so is, people I think who watch form. you and, and decide, you know, Jenny McDermott's a real fucking twit... And 99% of the people that decide you're a twit are not going to do anything worse than tell you that you're a fucking twit or argue with one of your stupid points. But then there's going to be the 1% of fucking crazy people that are like, yeah, we're going to fucking come rape and murder you, Jenny. But even Sounds those people... Like we need to form a, uh, an opinionated jackass union on YouTube. <laughs> it's not a jackass bad idea. are going to take this shit The local anymore. 44. <laughs> <laughs> when have opinionated jackasses ever taken any shit? Opinionated anyway. jackasses on the internet. United. That's true. I think you could never unite us, though. That's the no, problem. No, that would, that would never work. Yes, we could. That's my opinion, bitch. <laughs> You're wrong. No, fuck you. You're wrong. You're wrong. My fuck opinion you. is right. You don't know what you're talking about. You're insane. Ben has gone insane. My opinions are better than all these other opinionated jackasses. <laughs> these fucking idiots. The jackass club. Uh, anyway, to recap what we've seen so far, yeah. Jenny McDermott is a moron, and um, yes, do you want to? Was that ever in doubt? Do you want to skip to the end of the video so we, so we're, <laughs> you know, we're sure that this isn't just? Yeah, let's skip to the end so yeah. she can't pull that. But you didn't but, watch the end. It's almost over. Let's just watch the rest. Okay, yeah, it's fine. But my voice is still very small. I need to be able to reach people through you. And give voice to this oh positive and peaceful on. movement. <laughs> wow. That Mainstream media, please cover me and make me the next Anita Sarkeesian. Yeah, no one's doing that. No one's watching that. <laughs> What's that smell? Oh, it's it's desperation. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, this is Elf like that. And other women online have begun to be a force in the face of absolute savage behavior. Thank you for your consideration. Ah! Ah! Yes. Everyone, help make uh, Jenny McDermott famous. Oh, my God. Help give her... Make the mainstream media give this woman the megaphone she deserves because she has a cunt. <laughs> and you can make Jenny McDermott fay fay famous. <laughs> That seems fair. You just said a little weird Johnny Depp laugh <laughs> at the end of that. It was kind of disconcerting to me. She's like, okay. All right, I man. Just exactly how to rub you the wrong way. Just to take the wallet, man. Just go. Do you know how to rub me the right way? Hey, uh, Anthony, I, I'm going to end the call and call you back really quick. Cause yeah, because you fucking suck, Anthony. Okay. I'm going to call you right back. We're going to call you back, even though you suck. Suck. Fuck, fuck that guy, man. He's a piece of shit. Really? I despise his every fucking moment of existence. I hope he dies a really painful death. <laughs> anyway. You know what? As long as some uh, innocent animals don't die, TJ. TJ's, TJ hates vegans so much. And I was like, Here we go. I'm like, okay, wait, wait just one second okay. here. I have to turn you down. Uh, but I think this is going to work a lot better. For some reason, we have to make two calls to make the fucking audio work here. Yo, are you guys talking about veganism? What the fuck? Yeah. You leave, I leave for one second, and then you're talking about veganism? Yeah. That's, that's yep. I would say TJ's all like, uh, he was pissed at you, I guess, for something you posted or something. And then I'm like, TJ, mm. can we just agree that it's really just me you're mad at and hate? And he's like, yeah, that's true. I posted yeah. a video about um, that World Health Organization uh, study just to kind of break balls, just to kind of piss my audience off for a second because I thought it would be fun to get a, to get a reaction out of everybody. 
<laughs> I hate vegans so much. <laughs> Why do you hate hey. vegans so much, TJ? I hate them. I just hate them. They're disgusting people. <laughs> I came here for, for two reasons. One, to be the Scotty Defense Squad. If Scotty, I, if I hear Scotty being mistreated in any kind of way, I'm going to get in the way. Yeah. And also be the vegan defense squad. So, no. We already have a vegan. We already have a fucking vegan defense squad. Scotty. So just defend Scotty, and you'll even be doing though. The... But Scotty is not even vegan, though. No, I'm not. You know, Scotty. I'm, no, I'm 90 to 95 percent vegan. Yeah. Well, you know. That's what I am. I actually, I, I actually did the math. I, I figured it out. That's pretty much what it is. You're 90. <laughs> he's 95 percent <laughs> vegan. So 90, only 95 percent morally superior yes, to all. Yes. Only 95 percent. 95 percent across a time span of what since you started. Yeah. So you're you're documenting every single thing you you eat into a notebook. He probably already did that. It's like weird. G-Man's yeah. prayer notebook. Yes. One hundred percent prayer success rate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> God always says yes, no, or later. Hey, I'm ninety five percent, man. Yeah, so, so not there, quite yeah, there. Yeah, not quite there yet. <laughs> Hoping to work up to 100%. All right. Here's the next video is some guy that's pissed off because I guess there's a female stormtrooper in the new Star Wars. That is angry. What? That's sick. No! Affirmative action done gone too far. I'm, uh, you know what? Boycott the movie. A bitch! A bitch! A bitch! A bitch as a stormtrooper? Yeah. You gotta be fucking kidding me. You gotta be motherfucking kidding me. Yeah. Before he First started, he kind of sounded like a fat, sassy lady I'm to me before he started really going into what he was bitch. saying. A oh, bitch. Bitch. I mean, without oh, the visual, bitch. you wouldn't really know it was a man talking, would you? What's up with the flag why is, behind him? Yeah, why is it yellow? I don't know. I don't know if it's a flag from another country. A, it, it, it looks like looks like the Confederate flag. It looks like a, like a like maybe some Southern type flag, or maybe it is a, a version of the Confederate flag. And then there's the Empire Strikes Back. So it's that, I've never seen that before. Yeah. I've never seen this flag with this color. What I don't understand about this complaint already is, first of all, it's not as if stormtroopers are like these competent badasses anyway. I mean... Maybe they are now, though, TJ. I don't, maybe. I don't know. But, I mean, stormtroopers, they suck at their jobs. They can't shoot for shit. They're dumb as fuck. They get killed left and right. And they're, I mean, unless they're only going to stun, then they can they, hit you. I mean, in, in the original trilogy, aren't they clones, uh, according to the canon from the... Uh, um, no, we're, we're going to disregard that is that it, happened. Is that being disregarded, like, in the new movies? I is believe that, another that thing it's that's been being stated. It should. I, I think that they're pretty much writing it as if those didn't happen. Wow. I, at least I hope they are. Those are you, shit. You know, um, I, I believe I I've heard JJ. I've heard JJ Abrams say something to that effect. I'm not 100 percent sure though. When when I saw the trailer, I sort of presumed that the the stormtroopers that might sort of not be clones or might be black or might be women or whatever I thought might have been undercover in some kind of way, and they're kind of stealthily hiding out as stormtroopers or something. I don't really know. I mean, I don't think that they were ever intended to still be clones mm -hmm. in the new trilogy. I mean, like... How much creative control does George Lucas have? Does he have none? I believe it's next to nothing. Wow. Okay, I, so maybe... You know what? I, th I don't think that's entirely true. I think he does have some effect on the movies, but not, not as much as the, as the previous movies, though. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I've heard that he's like... They they listen to what he has to say, but no one's compelled to actually do what he says. I always I thought not. that was dumb. That they it's like, what's the fucking purpose of making an army of clones? But another thing is, Princess Leia in the original trilogy could pwn the fuck out of a stormtrooper. So you already have seen that yeah. there's women in the Star Wars universe oh, bitch! tougher than stormtroopers. Exactly. So what does it fucking matter? So is, the, is that dressed as a motherfucking stormtroopers? Fuck this shit. Fuck you, George Lucas, you fucking old sellout. Fuck you, J.J. Abrams, you piece of... There's a good Abrams. chance this guy's troll. Yeah, this guy has got to be a troll. I'm like, like come on. Scumbag, I had faith in you. Guys, come on. Those, uh, th those potato chip oil stains right beneath his neck are 100% <laughs> fucking real. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I believe not this trolling. guy is truth. He's the truth. He's you the way and the, the truth and the light. One? Her life. Oh, and bitch. you stabbed us in the back just like fucking goddamn uh, Darth Vader did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait. You cut her arms <clears throat> off too. And you're also <laughs> a pastor. I'll tell you what, he's great though. <laughs> he should be a wrestling promoter. Great at what? Jesus. And fuck you, you fake, phony, fraud Star Wars fans. 
who take anything. As long as they give you a fucking movie, you'll accept everything. Fuck canon, fuck the original trilogy, fuck everything else, right? As long as they give it to you, give it to you. Give, you're like fucking goddamn whores. Yeah. Listen, I, I bet this guy did not make a peep like, when the prequels came out. He's like, oh, th this is good. That definitely shit on the uh, original trilogy plenty of times. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I, mean, I, don't, it I don't understand why it people was not, are it, thinking about it now. Yeah, it clearly, if you want, I mean, it was not the backstory that was alluded to in the original trilogy I think, at all. So. I think that if, if, the, if TJ sees the next two Star Wars movies that come out, if he sees them both and he ends up not liking them, he should not see the third one. Like, he should purposefully avoid seeing the third one. Not going to happen. I'm too much of a completist for that. There's no way he would do that. Once I mean, you're two it, episodes it, in, it's too deep. Yeah, I know. It's they would have deep. to be, and they would have to be so bad. I mean, I, went, I watched every prequel, so I mean, you multiple know what? times. The Phantom, you know and the Phantom Menace you know is terrible. You're part of the problem, TJ. Part of the I problem. I agree, I you're, am. You're paying them to make shitty movies. We saw uh, the first three Transformers movies, so yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah but I stopped going oh. after that. You're paying them to yeah. make shitty movies. I nearly was killed by the last, tra the, the third Transformers you, you movie, have, so. You can't even complain about them making shitty movies, because you go to see them all. He did review them though, so yeah. Well, I mean, I did. I had to review the Transformers. Movies. Okay, sure. So I mean, that was like more for work. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah we, we did okay. it to review them. They had nothing I mean, I to went, do with. I went and saw the. Interest. I went and saw the first one out of my own. Interest, well, yeah. But the then first I saw one. like this is shit. Did you see? Uh, did you see Indiana Jones Crystal Skull? Yeah, oh, of yes. course. <laughs> I thought it was going to be good. I was wrong. Fucking aliens! Come on. I really don't hate it as much as uh, some other people, but it's still pretty bad. Uh. I mean, I could think of a few things I actually liked about well, it. Well, like what? Um, I guess I can't actually. Around that. Yeah. Same so fuck you, TJ. Fuck you, TJ. <laughs> fuck you. I uh, around that same time is when the Rocky Balboa movie came out too. But that was I thought that was a good. I like that movie. Uh, yeah, I thought that Rocky kind of brought Balboa closure to the story. Yeah, it was yeah. much. It was a much better conclusion than Rocky Five was. So, yeah. But now there's a new semi kind of almost Rocky movie coming out. Yeah, Rocky yeah, Creed but it's movie. Creed. Yeah, Rocky has cancer or some shit, and it's like, is Creed. Rocky gonna die? Will Rocky die? I thought maybe. Cre Hold on, isn't Apollo Creed dead? Is this like a prequel kind it's of thing? No, son. this is his son, son man. His son. Oh, I see. I his son see. Son's fucking getting into the boxing game. He's gonna avenge his father. Yeah. He's gonna go kill Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> I don't know about that. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna live <laughs> on the memory. He's gonna get the Creed name back in the game. Fucking A. Have you ever seen the Masters of the Universe movie? No. No? Oh, no. You're lucky. We watched it because uh, we did a review of it. Um, and it is atrocious. And, and Dolph, Lundgren, awesome. Dolph Lundgren plays He-Man, but if they didn't call him He-Man, you wouldn't even know. He doesn't. It, it I mean, to that say that he plays him? anything. Stop. He literally has lines like that where people are like, they're like, like fighting for their lives, and he's I'm like, "Not Stop. going to hurt you." Okay, so he, so he in, doesn't say anything clever or anything. The Street or Fighter any. movie is it worse than the Street Fighter movie? Oh, which mm. one is worse? I don't know. Maybe Street Fighter. The Street Fighter movie should be one of our uh, movies. Oh how about, yeah. How about the fucking Mortal Kombat movies? Yeah. Oh my god, that last Mortal one Kombat two is pretty the worst. much every scene was green screen. <laughs> <laughs> Especially that second one. Mm. Yeah, we could review those, but um, oh, oh, those mm, that's fucking tough. I don't know. I haven't seen the Street Fighter movie since it came out in theaters, so I was a little. Who's gonna kid. go home? And who's gonna come with me? <laughs> <laughs> it's some powerful stuff. Yeah, one of the greatest movie speeches of all time. Oh, I do remember that part of the movie. I only remember it from watching the nostalgic. Where it's like, movie. yeah, it's like you know. Okay, well, yeah, whatever you remember. No. All right, moving on. Uh, here's Kent Hovind. Uh, it, it, the video is Socialist Bernie Sanders Explains Reform Ideas. When's that Kent and review? It's going to be next episode, right? Waiting on it. <laughs> Keep waiting. Okay. <laughs> Good evening, folks. Uh, sorry I'm so late here. It's uh, the 19th of October. Yeah, Kent you're Hovind late, speaking. bitch. Uh, 
Uh, the far more fucking punctual. A little behind on broadcast here. Sorry about that. Precarious. I want to make a few comments about Bernie garbage. Sanders' oh, speech that he made, <laughs> and show you the mindset of some of these socialists and communists. Yeah, and show us the mindset uh, of this far yeah, piece this of shit. fucking communist liar. I've, I've never seen Ho Hoven get political before, like this. Yeah, but now we got a socialist trying to run for president. Uh, a communist, yeah. more like it, TJ. He's both, because you guys know it's the same. It's the thing. same. It's the same. They're the same. Thing. Put them all in the same category. The Bible says in Proverbs 28, verse 2, For the transgression of the land, many are the princes thereof. The more wicked a country gets, the more government they need. God gives wow. them more and more princes to eat up the substance of the government. And I think America is yeah. pretty wicked and getting worse. And what a shock. God just might give us somebody like <laughs> Bernie Sanders. Oh, my God, no. So God, if, if please happened, God, don't. So God, don't do it. Us, please give us Ted Cruz. So as a punishment, we get Bernie Sanders. Yeah, it must be horrible. <laughs> All right, God, that's good. Let's keep God. Him come on, God's punish wrath. us, please. Uh, if you're gay or even if you're not, try to engage in some sodomy tonight. God really doesn't like that. Every time you have <laughs> butt sex, it's like a vote for Bernie. Start Sanders. worshiping other idols, you know, whatever. Just you can worship a fucking you know comic book character, anything. Just gotta be piss lazy God off. and slothful every day, but the Sabbath. Yeah, the Sabbath. You know, you just need to fucking just. That's when you need to get all your work yeah. done on the Sabbath. Every fucking thing, because that's the least holy day. You know. Listen to this interview. And let me stop and make a few comments on some of the things this guy said. This kind of looks familiar, what Ken's yeah. doing. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty mm. interesting. Uh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The format is infectious. The format yeah. is fucking infectious. Yeah. It gets weird. It's like becomes inception-y at this point, where we have to watch him watching Bernie and commenting yep. on Bernie, and then we are commenting on him, and uh, whatever. Yeah, and there's so many windows with people's heads. <laughs> And they're all white men. What a disgusting show. We need more fucking diversity. <laughs> Where are the Eskimos on this podcast? I want you to understand, this is really how he thinks. Hey, have we ever had an Asian on this show once? They're asking why it is they're working longer hours for low wages, why we have a massive level low of wages. income and wealth inequality. Low wages. Such that almost all of the new income and wealth is going wages. to the top 1%. All of the new they income and wealth is going to the top. Yeah, he has a strong Brooklyn accent. I guess they have a... Uh, strong Jewish. Brooklyn yeah, yeah, Jewish accent. Brooklyn. Yeah. I guess they have Larry David play him on SNL. Mm, yes, they, he's they did man. once. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if he's still doing. Yeah, that. yeah, that that may be a one-time thing, but that was pretty good. To know why it is that we are the only major country on earth that doesn't provide paid family and medical leave, why they can't send their kids yeah, to college. We'll need that. Jesus would have not have approved of that. The community, the church can watch other children. Country. Come on, on Jesus wanted people. all of our kids. And why we're not investing in our, <laughs> our young people in jobs and education. Rather than more jails and incarceration, why we are not so dealing with the reality of who controls our rigged economy and a corrupt political system, which, as a result of Citizens this United, is allowing out billion ass to buy elections. Why we are not dealing with climate change, the great global crisis facing our country. All of those issues are more important than Hillary Clinton's Made email. Made up. I can't believe Sick. He I can't believe he doesn't want people to go to jail. What the fuck is wrong with him? Yeah, he doesn't want people to go to jail, and he doesn't think Hillary's oh, he wants emails to protect are the environment. It clearly works, you know. Like people won't commit crimes because they don't want to go to jail. Let me ask you guys a question: Is, is it still uh, turning to fall out there, or is it just a perpetual summer? Putting which people there is in jail very much helps the environment. If those people are in jail, they're not out driving. Right. Yeah. Also, wow. if there if there are more people in jail, the environment around me is safer. Because the <laughs> people who the people who would normally be in my vicinity are instead in jail. Yeah, we need a green prisons too. You know, <laughs> solar prisons. Yeah, solar prisons. Yeah, people. Are people they, in high they schools. Power, they're yeah. power the electric chair via solar power. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. What they'll do there is they'll just have a giant magnifying glass and then they'll burn you like a fucking insect under it. Yeah. <laughs> it's very efficient. Yeah. It's on the way to determine what happened. All right, let me make a few comments about poor Bernie Sanders. Uh, Please okay. do. <laughs> poor poor <laughs> Bernie all, Sanders. Uh, paid college for everybody. Some people should not be going to college, okay? If Suppose everybody in America had a college degree. Then what? 
I was. We had a bunch of people. Then what? The yeah, we. Everyone was all educated what, what and this, shit. Uh, I, I don't understand his reasoning here. I mean, he says that some people should not go to college, and obviously, this plan, the college is optional. People aren't being forced into college, but but obviously, yeah, I think under, you, can, under I think the you have to system, have good grades too. Yeah, I mean, there's that, and also, I mean, right now, the only people who can go to college are the people who can afford to go to college, and affording to go to college isn't necessarily a decider as to whether or not you should go. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Just because why you can we, afford it, please go. Yeah, people, why do we want a well-educated populace? Come God on, God has blessed certain people with money mm. and certain people without money, and that's God's Look, choice. Those people planted seeds, and you know something grew out of it. These other people just—they must not have. You know, if you lived a life of a uh, you know a godly life, you would be able to go God, to college. Godly God life, godly so rewards. It. Yep. Yeah. New Hampshire, right next to Vermont, where Bernie's from. And they were talking about the, the guys going to get an associate's degree. And they said the associate's degree is now equivalent to a high school diploma from a few years back. Yeah, our whole education system is being dumbed down, I think, intentionally, because dumb people are easier to manage. But that's another story. <laughs> he knows that. He's yeah, fucking that, an expert You're a fucking that. expert on that. Yeah, exactly. So wait, your solution, there's too many dumb people, so we need less education. Good job. Yeah, that makes perfect no sense. Thing. Great. Like, Take it from me. I know dumb people are easy to manage. They're fucking <laughs> stupid. I know. I'm an expert at manipulating those fucking retards. Ah. He wasn't an expert covering his tracks, unfortunately. You know, that nine-year prison stint. Mm. Well, you I wonder know. if he was able to manipulate any of those uh, uh, people in the jail since they were all so stupid or if they just beat the shit out of him every week. <laughs> no, so many people go to prison and find uh, Jesus, so he, as long as he says some Jesus shit, he was probably fine. Oh, my God. He was probably, like, you... lecturing in the lunchroom every day. and Yeah. I'm going to get this money to pay for college for everybody. <laughs> oh, we're going to tax everybody. Well, then that removes the incentive to work. Well, pretty much what everyone's and I'd like to know where the with. federal government in this constitution... Well, dude, if you paid your is. fucking taxes, we would have the money to send everybody to college, you cock-sucking piece of shit. God. Yeah, that's true. And, and, and income tax is a constitutional amendment, you fucking moron. <laughs> authority to get involved in education at all. I mean, read the constitution, amendment number 10. If it's not spelled out in this document, that's left to the states. The federal government has no business being involved in education in any way. <laughs> Get out of the whole business, Bernie, uh, and sh save a whole bunch of money. Shut down the Department of Education in, in Washington, D.C. Just shut it down. Make them get a real job So someplace. basically just get typical anyway. conservative position on education for the most part. Gut education so that I can brainwash more uneducated idiots right. into being creationists. Also, I loved how he said to shut down uh, the Department of Education that these people would have to go out and get a real job afterwards. A real job like his job. He's got a real job. Oh, yes. yeah. Of course he does. I like his chart behind him. Do you see it? <laughs> He's a hardworking guy. He worked on that chart for a long time. I mean, sure, it's totally full of shit and fallacious and filled with errors and is totally wrong. But, you know, <laughs> never mind any of that. Well, you it's could, a good you could presentation. Say, it's a good, solid did, presentation. Uh, you could say he did a real job on it. Oh, yeah, he did a real job. <laughs> as far as why there are so many jails, let me give you a few clues here that may help, okay? Hmm. Uh, judges we turn and away from Jesus, lawyers right? and congressmen and senators and the president, all of the political officials are allowed to own stock in the prison system. It's real big business. You tossed me a copy of the kennel there, brother. There's a stack right there. In my book, the oh, kennel, yeah, I, I forgot that. He's almost halfway rational about this because he was actually in jail. So, you know, so, when, so is he on actually, Bernie's side? Is he on Bernie's when, side on this issue? Uh, maybe a little bit. I don't know. But he's he's basically he's actually making a substantive point instead of just invoking Jesus. Sure. But then I remembered, oh, it's because he was actually in yeah. jail. He, he yeah. has firsthand experience. Yep. So he doesn't just talk his usual platitudes and empty bullshit because it actually matters to him. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got the, the book I wrote about the prison system. Of all the books I wrote from prison, oh uh, 37 of them, this is the only one that's really not about... 37? Creative he, he was there for, like, almost, almost nine years, so... And 37 much books of fucking just total, utter bullshit. It's like, yeah. how can I restate the same shit I've already said the other 36 fucking times? I don't know. That book, I mean, for something that he was in jail for about nine years, it's looking a little light. Don't think there are too many pages in that book. It's more of a pamphlet. <laughs> 
Yeah. So like double space, 37 double space pamphlets. Like <laughs> if you want to get one of these to give to <laughs> some of your... Space. Size 28 font. <laughs> <laughs> With pictures. Friends, Stick uh, figures. This, is the this would be a good one. A little 100-page booklet on our American prison pages. system. What on earth are we doing? Why would we allow judges to pay, get paid to judge a case and lock people up and also allow well, them to take the per person they put in jail? It's not like commission. I mean, they're, they're getting paid whether they put people in jail or not. <laughs> it should be a commission. The more people you jail, the more money you get. Hmm. Honestly, money if you look at the legal system, it really just does boil down to money. I mean, like, if you have money to get a good lawyer, then you usually don't go to jail. But what does that mean? you got to pay the lawyer a bunch of money. And he has to know the judge or be friends with the judge or, you know, he knew the judge's dad or something. You know, it's all about money. Or, all right, or think... if you can post bail. Oh, yeah, exactly. All right, I think I'm going to move on. Uh, this next video is a high alert video. High alert, man-eater behemoth, Sarah Avery in California. Oh, shit. So if you're in California, beware of Sarah Avery. You might as well just get the fuck she out of California She weighs, I guess, now. like 5,000 pounds or something wait a like second, that. Wait a second, wait a What's the title of this video? <laughs> High alert, uh -huh. man-eater behemoth, <laughs> Sarah Avery in California. I didn't know you guys could play Red Tube on this show or play, hook it up. Get it on there. I got a letter from yeah. Brett Spiner, and I feel I need to read this. If you live in California, you need to you need to listen to this video. Dear Gail, listen up, Californians. Things certainly got interesting since I last had the opportunity to write you. Yeah, this is Brent Spiner is is telling Gail the situation with the individuals. I don't, I don't know if Ben told you guys, but the the person who skypes with Gail, I found him on Skype. Oh, really? Yes, and I try and I and I added him, and uh, I, I I noticed him because of the name and sort of the avatar in those videos that that he or she put up when they were sort of uh, uh what what were they doing? They were putting um, Brett Spiner's wife uh, on the stand or something. It was like that court. That oh, court okay. Put together, and I added the person, and he added me back, and I was like, "Who are you? Why are you bothering Gail? What's going on here? Tell me all the stuff." And then he he unadded me right away. Huh. <laughs> He didn't want to. He didn't want to pony up the info. Uh, this, of course, is, this is of course this is this of course is Terrence Jenkins. Terrence Jenkins. Yeah. Well, you're a Jesuit. I mean, of course he's not going to going to put up with that. He's not going to tell me that <laughs> that information. That's confidential information. I wish Although I could I have, say that I've, I've seen. An email back. I put an email into that um uh, uh, Nintendo school. I haven't gotten uh, uh, an offer back yet for the Nintendo school that they did a uh, they did a while ago that she announced. Hopefully you'll get in. Hopefully I will get in. I, I, I hear the so. test. I hear the entry tests are pretty rigorous. At all when it comes to Jesuits, but that day has yet to come. With a little elbow grease, we managed to recapture Sarah Avery and return her safely to quarantine in San Francisco. The plan to reverse her gravity obstruct her gravity obstru obstructing obesity. <laughs> <laughs> Her gravity yeah, obstructing because, obesity. Because we know 5,000 pounds would definitely, totally alter the uh, Earth's <laughs> gravitational field. Well, she must be more than that. You know, yeah, the Earth, the Earth was away 20,000 pounds, maybe. She must have put no. more on since hey, the last uh, video. Guys, I'll be back one second. One second. All right. Continue Keep to schedule. This video. For the sake of mankind, Quick, uh, cocaine, we immediately Larry. placed her on a strict diet and exercise regimen much of which was largely based on the fitness and nutritional advice offered in your own YouTube videos. The method was cast iron in its flawlessness. They have a saying in show business, never work with children or animals. And according to our top scientists, any woman over 250 pounds is considered an animal. <laughs> the reasoning is that... Wow. <laughs> Gail's team has figured this out. For years, we wondered, like, when does a woman become an animal? And it's, it's 250 pounds. 250 plus animal. You're an animal. <laughs> they are unpredictable, are and you never know what animal. may happen when you attempt to alter their natural behaviors. Our team soon got a lesson in exactly what those unpredictable consequences can be. It was time for Sarah's routine afternoon walk when the incident occurred. As with most fat women, 
Sarah adamantly refuses to walk anywhere. Our system involved having a quarantine worker drive an Oscar Meijer weenie mobile in circles around. <laughs> How can you not say Oscar Meyer? Oscar Meijer. <laughs> what? what? <sighs> I wish I was an Oscar Meijer. Meijer. <laughs> an Oscar Meijer. Everyone. Meijer. <laughs> Oscar Meijer. The compound, Oscar Meijer. Coaxing a very Cameo. hungry Sarah to chase it until she burned off a satisfactory number of calories for the day. The area was outdoors, but surrounded by tall cement walls with electric... Bullshit. Any fat person would give noise. up after a few steps if they're that fucking involved. fat. They're not going to keep chasing a fucking truck around the block. She wasn't, she wasn't <laughs> running. She was just rolling. Oh, rolling? Okay, well, that's true then. She was rolling, it's... rolling, rolling, rolling. What? Yeah! <laughs> just, just, because, just because it's fucking hot dog shaped, she chased it. Wire over the top. Ah, so fucking Sarah's cool. behavior has grown increasingly aggressive due to the hunger and food <laughs> cravings caused by the new diet and exercise. Apparently, she was moving faster than usual that day and caught up to and nearly grabbed the weenie mobile. The driver panicked and swerved off course toward the perimeter walls. And when Sarah stampeded after the vehicle, she collided with the wall and burst clean through. In a whirlwind of white knuckle terror, the weenie mobile driver continued his escape from Sarah Avery with the gelatinous behemoth. Stomping at the behemoth. <laughs> behemoth. <laughs> at the matinee. Behemoth. Is is this something that she's written or that piece of garbage who trolls her is written? I piece don't know. Piece of garbage who trolls yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. But I, okay. it's, it, it's interesting, like, hearing her read it. <laughs> she, <laughs> far this, she, she's so concerned as she's reading. It's like the news. Yeah, well, it is the it news. Is the this news. is the news. It's, it's almost, it's, it's not like the news. This, it is the news. This is a high alert. This is a high alert. I get it. Yep. High alert! Beyond the quarantine area. It wasn't long before the compound was on red alert, and the men and I were called to help track down and demobilize Sarah for yet another return to quarantine. Sarah's and escaped. Calling Gale. Gale's fucking team just rolls in. Fucking helicopter. To the people, Gale signal. People rappelling <laughs> down. <laughs> fucking like <laughs> guns <laughs> fucking Crazy. drawn. Just fucking going in like SEAL Team fucking six. Like Gale Team. Armor Gale Team six. Borrowed from the compound, we followed the wake of dust that haunted behind the speeding weenie mobile, dodging <laughs> Sarah's massive footprints that threatened to swallow any vehicle that didn't remain on high alert. We quickly realized the trail was leading straight into the heart of downtown San Francisco. I mean, at this point, Sarah Avery is not just fat. Like, if her footprints are that big, she's she's like morphed into she's some Godzilla-esque monster. Dude, this sounds like something you would see like a '90s movie. It's like a chase in downtown San Francisco. It's like, like you know, the cops are chasing her or some shit. I would watch this movie if it were made. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is, uh, you know, this better is better than like, anything Hollywood's coming up yep. with. <laughs> that's true. This that's person true. trolling Gale needs to become a screenwriter. Stop and trolling Gale. Ourselves for Start impending trolling the disaster. world. I recall the sight of the unsuspecting rainbow flag rolling in the wind to <laughs> greet our passage as we, as we finally came upon Sarah and the doomed Weenie Mobile. There were civilians here, other vehicles on the road, and it wasn't long before before innocence collided with unbridled obesity. I saw Hugh Jackman cringe out of a side window. <laughs> he just he disappears. I love Hugh these stories. Jackman. He just happens to be in downtown San Francisco. Oh, I just like a cringe. Oh, why do I have to look at that fat? Poor Hugh Jackman. <laughs> away, muttering quietly. I followed his attention to see Bubba the Black Jesuit and his <laughs> The whole fucking gang just happens to be there! Youthful ginger boyfriend <laughs> holding hands as they strolled down the sidewalk. <laughs> They're just there. I was about to it San Francisco after By all. sheer coincidence, Bubba the Black Jesuit and his, his ginger, ginger boyfriend, boyfriend just happened to be just there. happened to be taking a romantic <laughs> stroll Ebony at that Ivory. very moment. Will when anyone come to their rescue? I think Bubba the Black Jesuit problem. needs to do a face turn in this story. Mm. <laughs> I saw the startled look on Bubba's face as he caught sight 
of his former co-worker, I believe that's Sarah Avery, in hot pursuit of the weenie mobile, oh, its driver's together. face locked in a full-mouthed, endless scream. The ginger boy's eyes widened, and when his face sparkled into a, into a childlike smile, I realized his own attention. Lick my butthole, ginger boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's thinking at that moment. He yeah. was transfixed solely on the weenie mobile. He was so entranced, his hand let go of Bubba's, and he slowly began, slowly began wading out into the middle of the street. The driver of the weenie mobile <laughs> slammed on the brakes to avoid hitting the gay ginger, and as soon as the vehicle slowed. Sarah's thick, sweaty palm came crashing down to snatch it up and deliver it, deliver it to her fat, cushiony maw. That's her mouth. Oh. No! The Thanks. ginger boy yelled horrified you know, the, uh, Sarah's uh, mouth. The, the vivid description she's giving here are wonderful, but the uh, you really should see the uh, the exclusive CNN live video they had of this whole debacle. Oh, it's actually yeah. really breathtaking. Yeah, I feel like if there's an animator out there looking for an idea, just take, <laughs> go to this video and just animate this story. I know it'll take a while, but, you know, it, it'll be brilliant. Well, you know, we, we would see that. Unfortunately, the Jesuits obviously control everything. They, they stop that footage from being produced to the public. That needs to happen. Rushed and then swallowed the car. That's not what you do with it. He was throwing his arms in the air and making such a fuss. Sarah took notice and turned her attention on him. Gingerbread? Sarah smiled slowly, her stomach growling. Gingerbread. <laughs> Sarah's hand. Gingerbread. 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 Sarah's hand flapped down and grabbed for the ginger. <laughs> Bubba, watching the scene with alarm, made a fast dive for his boyfriend, attempting to push him out of the way of Sarah's attack. He was too late. Sarah's hand wrapped around the boy, and all Bubba could do was la latch his own hand onto his lover's arm, pulling and struggling with all of his strength to free him. The next few moments it's like seemed little to happen. horrors here. I was thinking of like a uh, Full Metal Alchemist, like you know the that eats people. Uh, I'm just on Come the edge on. of my seat over here. Yeah, I, I can see it next. vividly in my head. You know, but it's yeah. slow motion. We watched as Bubba's hand slid helplessly down his boyfriend's arm and clasped onto his hand as Sarah began dragging him away. Bubba's eyes welled up with tears Aww. and he tenderly squeezed his lover's hand. Their final exchange I will never forget. No! Oh, fucking Sarah Avery's a fucking cannibal! Now she's a fucking cannibal! He's like, no! Why, Sarah? And she's like, gotta eat him. I thought Bubba had finally Get found your happiness. Bread. <laughs> Why did this have to happen? Bubba whimpered, love and grief, quivering through his deep, bassy, deep, bassy voice. Bassy. Bassy. Yeah, bassy. 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 bassy, no, it's bassy. Come on. The ginger he just boy ate a bass, you know, and his, his nose... breath was. <laughs> it's a mighty bassy like breath. Fish. Fish my eyes breath, receptive you know? to his fate as he attempted to soothe his lover, <laughs> soothe his lover with hope. Their hands retchingly parted, parted, their fingers clutching desperately down to the last knuckle. For Still every a better second. love story than Twilight. Nah. Nah. Uh, I see what you did there, TJ. Yeah, I see I what memed. you did. I did a meme. Uh, I see what you did. And they could remain together before the gay ginger was torn away. Their dreams ending down Sarah Avery's God. fat gullet. Oh, how tragic Bubba is this? sank to his knees and roared with grief, <laughs> hot tears streaming down his chubby black stubble <laughs> cheeks. Man, Sarah. Wow. Mama, it's a tragedy. Unnamed ginger boy, he licked my butthole <laughs> like no one else he could. Lick my butthole now. Oh. Even Jesuits feel pain. Even even Hugh Jackman felt bad for yeah. Bubba. Jesuits. You know that that really says something. He's like, man, the Jesuits have raped me and done some terrible shit. Yeah. That's just fucking wrong. Come Bubba on. shit in my mouth, but I still hate to see this happen <laughs> to him. You know. 
for Avery licked her lips. He's going to be over it, too, because he was there, and he was more disgusted not by Bubba, who raped him and did shit in his mouth, but more by the ob a fucking obesity. Hugh Jackman understands that that was just business, you know? That's what Jesuits Bubba's do. like, you know, just business, <laughs> you know? I mean, hey, you clock in, you clock out, I'm on the job now, you know, no hard feelings. Smiling wide and stomping deeper into the city, following the billboards for directions to the city's restaurants. The men and I were so overcome by, by what we had just witnessed that several of us got out of the vehicle to intervene. We didn't know what to do. All we knew is that we saw suffering, and it was in our hearts to reach out to this poor man who had just lost his mate. My men are awesome. We're, they're just, my, we're willing to forgive Jesuits wow. if they will get right. The only reason we have to execute them is because they won't get right. <laughs> the only reason we have to execute them. God, I've she's never heard so, such a beautiful statement so before. Can't, you know what? Look, Gail oh, is a benevolent leader. I mean, look, look at right there. We have to execute them because they're pieces of shit. But you know, if they got <laughs> right, they, we would forgive them. Yeah, exactly. Look, Bubba got right, and look, Gail forgave him. That's, did, that's Bubba, did Bubba really get right though? Let's see how Bubba. Uh, yeah, it's true. Let's see how Bubba handles this. He raped a bunch of Gail's men, <laughs> and they're still forgiving him. It's it's almost they're basically saints. To yeah. Air is human to forgive. It's like is Jesus. Divine, you yeah. know. You know, they just listen to Jesus, Ben. Come on. They, you know, but if they're willing to get right, we could forgive him so easily. No, you we, just, we want to get along and love everybody. We don't wow. like. Wow. Anyways, let me continue reading. Jerome I've seen other fucking videos where she's like, "These are the laws that I have put into place as of today. Jesuits will be executed." No. Now she's like, "Bad, you know. bad, bad, bad." That bad, never happened. Bad. That was that was just the law. Laws come from the head, but but Gail's when she talks on camera, she's, she's speaking from the heart. heart. Yeah, Gail is the exactly. supreme leader. Anthony laws, knows laws have to be authoritative, you know. But Gail, she doesn't rule with an iron fist. Bart approached. Bubba, Jesus told Gail placing these laws. his hand on the Jesuit's mm -hmm. black, exactly. she was just a black shoulder. Bubba was somber, as if in a deep trance, unable to be roused. Oh my Man, God, Gerard Her, spoke. She's quivering. If we don't She's so touched by what her men, her men have done. Here. I am too, man. Her men stepped pretty, up to the plate. I'm pretty invested in the Bubba saga, you know? I, I want what? Bubba to have his own book. It's Next time, time on Dragon Ball Z, what happens to Bubba? Go capture Sarah Avery and get that lass's pasty bovine arse on a frickin' diet. This is going to happen to many more people. We all nodded solemnly. There was nothing any of us could do for the heart-shattered Bubba, who refused to move or even make a sound. Bubba's a broken man. Oh. Wow. Care Only if crying softly not. through a thousand-yard stare. Aww. We had lives to save. Man. And with heavy hearts, we loaded back up into the vehicle. Gail, Gail's touching me, man. Fall. She's touching me right here. You know? Yeah, you know, I, I hope Bubba's okay, you know. Damn. I mean, one day he's, he's strolling through San Francisco with his gingerbread, and next, he's just gone. He's gone. It's a damn shame. It's really, it's really sad. Let's I move mean, on. Yeah. I, I, can't, I can't handle this tragedy any longer. This is, this is the worst I've ever heard in my life. It's the most well, tragic right. I've ever heard. Here's, Be before, here's... Before, well, before you go on to the next thing, okay. I did want to say that in the Fantano household, we're big fans of Gale, and we do have a hard copy of uh, this book <laughs> over here. Oh, you, really? could, you could get off Amazon. This is uh, this is the Shimmering Sea, the tale of Robin Williams' murder. It's probably right and, next uh, to your Bible. It, I do keep it. I actually close it into the middle of my Bible because oh, I wow. perceive it to be just as holy. Uh, I've actually torn some pages out of the Bible so that it fits in very snugly. Wow! Um, if you do want to read a wonderful tale, where on the Church of Gale, uh, uh, Gale's men have a series of different afflictions involving their penises, uh, this is this is a <laughs> this is a riveting read. So it's on I, Amazon. I, Look it up. I desperately want to read that. If you do uh, end up buying that, I'm sure there probably is an audio book or version, or there will be shortly, and you can it, get it at audibletrial.com forward slash drunken peasants. Good shill. That was right? a good shill. That was a good shill. It was. We <laughs> killed that shill. We're good at that, you know. Kill the shill. Oh, yeah. I'm sure that'd be available at audibletrial.com forward slash drunken peasants, guys. You know, you look like Billy Corgan trying to be the Joker. Thanks. When you're doing that. That's a great, that's a wonderful compliment. Let's, I'm going to hurt you one more time. Wait, which, yeah. which, which Joker, though? Which Joker, though? 
I don't know, just any incarnation. Just any Joker. That's fine. What's next? Let's see. Ben, ben has to jerk it for a second. He's like, shit. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, yeah. Gail. Oh, oh Gail. Oh, Bubba. Why, Bubba? Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So. I guess we'll move on. All right. Uh. Here's a video. Uh, there's a city in Ohio where there's a crazy woman running for mayor, and uh, she was on the news recently. All right. 2015 coverage and the race for Toledo mayor. Tonight, NBC24 goes one-on-one -on -one with frequent candidate Opal Covey. Our Jim Nelson recently Frequent met candidate. with Covey, who called Yeah, she's ran five, five times. Five fucking Sun times. <laughs> I, I think she's a Republican, too. Yeah. Yep. Well, Jim and Laura, this is now the fifth time that Opal Kobe has run for mayor. Oh she feels she has been... Just get, wait. She looks like an evil pumpkin. The, be the best thing is you could tell this guy hated this fucking assignment. Yeah. He fucking... It, it, well, look, you'll see. You'll see some. I'll point it out when it happens. Votes as part of what she believes to be ongoing corruption in city government. Holy shit. It's like it's Bush Gore all over again. Yeah. Yeah, Figures yeah. Into throwing her votes I've into the garbage. Four times. This is the fifth. But I really want a pot of gold. Of the election. Want she knows where the gold. end of the fucking rainbow is. Vote Opal Covey for mayor, a miracle worker. <laughs> I'm, in know, she's a fucking leprechaun. Now, this might be a shock to you. need to be listing the uh, miracles that she's performed. <coughs> has she cured the blind? Has she gotten rid of cancer? Y yes, has she, she has. Walked on water? She may well have done those things. She could have done yeah, those things. She's to a lot of people because my votes have been stolen. Ever since uh, I've been sounds running. Sounds right. Opal Kobe. No, 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 let's pause it. Look how fucking far away this dude is standing from her. Looks like the interview <laughs> someone you were close to him. You're like, TJ, what do you think about that? Not fucking 10 feet away. What do you think about that? He does not want to be anywhere near this crazy bitch. He's that in her heart of heart. You're just harassing her because she's a Whoa. woman. I am. That's an, that's an amazing glitch right behind him. Yeah, that's crazy. That's, I, think, I, think that, I think that's actually real real footage because the Matrix just fucking glitched right there. Oh, wow. Yeah. More proof of the Matrix, G-Man. Supposedly no Matrix, my ass. Right. Visual fucking proof right there. You know, I give more credibility to the Matrix theory than the fucking theory I about God. I asked her why she chose to run again in 2015. God sent me to look upon the city of Toledo. And so, if, therefore, I had to go through everything that's well, a I can look upon the city of Toledo, too. That ain't shit. Years later, I know the city up one side and down the other, and I'm down here. Down the other. fucking what? A bunch, everyone who fucking lived there their whole life knows the same fucking shit you know. What are you really bringing to the table Hey, here? shut up. She's fucking psychic, you dumb shit. Yeah, yeah. She'll, she'll explain more. All right. And her, and her accent is wonderful. Mayor Otter. of the city of Toledo. On the subject of issues, Kobe <laughs> says potholes are a problem and corruption within the city. God sent me here to fix potholes. To <laughs> Toledo with tools and corruption. Tourist attractions. Amusement Her plan park. is to <laughs> fill the town with amusement parks to restore the economy. <laughs> Whoa, you know what? I, I take back what I said. That's, that's you that know what? I support her now. Well. Very fun idea. Prior to our interview ending, I asked Kobe. All right, this is the great part. Customary. Everyone be quiet. Okay. If there is anything else she would like to add. After pausing, she offered this. Great destruction will come up upon the Papa Hashataya, Kulia Sima Hai, and the Holy Antia Tiko Kulia Nasai. Yea, my son, Dala Diddy, I see Koshantala Lolosi. Yea, my son, Dala Diddy, I see Koshantala. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. That was a confirmation. If what? people don't give me what I earned what? in 2013 back, and I'm not on that seat in November, then you'll see God coming and visiting the city in what? the greatest destruction you have ever seen. <laughs> Jesus shit. fucking Holy confirmed shit. it. <clears throat> yeah. It's like Jesus can destroy the city. If Jesus goes to God, God, God made the call. Fucking Toledo's gone. Yep. So, so where is this confirmation that votes are being stolen from her? I don't, I don't understand. Uh, she, she claims that the last time she ran in 2013, Jesus told her. Dude. Okay, I mean, just look at this. Look at this woman. Look at her sign, and look at the crowds gathered around a pot her. Pot of gold. You know, I mean, she's well, offering you, people a pot of gold. You're saying people in Toledo are not going to vote for someone offering them a pot of gold? Well, what's funny is uh, they're probably counting the votes. She's seeing that very few people are voting for her by the time the election is over. But before then, she knows that she's spoken to hundreds of people, and they're like, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll vote for you. I'll vote for you. I'll, 
Bye. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Yeah. Hope for you. Yep. Tonight at 11, Kobe expands on the issues and her plan for the city. Jim Nelson, well, NBC, 24 News. You can tell that guy's like, really why am I taking this like a serious news story? This is horrible. Can I please move cities now? That, that, that's the exact look on his face, like, when do I leave Toledo? <laughs> I mean, many many Toledo, how many, how many, it, it is a city. How many people live in Toledo, though? I'd say like a, probably like a quarter of a million or something like that. Um, but, but still, though, it's, it's kind of, this type of shit scares me when you consider that so few people vote in local elections. Because I, I feel like, I don't know, maybe if TJ started making videos on his channel just saying, vote for this woman, it, it, could, it could potentially happen. Yes. All right, we'll do it now. If you live in Toledo and you're a drunken peasants vote fan. Vote for this woman. What do you got to lose? She wants to turn your town into a big <laughs> She is going to get rid of potholes and corruption and she's give you gonna, a pot of gold. Potholes gone. Pot corruption gone. New roller coasters yes. on the way. <laughs> What more and do you fucking need? She'll write if you perform speeches. And if that's and not pumps. enough, you know, if that's not enough, I have been told that if she is not elected mayor, there's going to be a great destruction visited upon Toledo. Of course, I've been to Toledo. How would they even notice a great destruction there? It, <laughs> <laughs> it's true, yeah. But it will only happen in Toledo, though. For whatever reason, God just has very specific... It's the new Sodom and Gomorrah, basically. Yes, exactly. God's like, they didn't elect my chosen representative on Earth. Boom! Well, gone. That's God's call. We can punish him. <laughs> Fuck you, Toledo. You're gone. Between her and uh, Bernie Sanders, God has a pretty strong ticket this year. Yeah. Maybe she's going to be Bernie. Sa maybe, she, maybe her true destiny is to be Bernie's running mate, you know? That would well, be then, wonderful. Then, that, then the election would just be like a cakewalk, dude. I mean, look. Look, I, I can see the posters. All right. So uh, we decided to do a throwback video. It's uh, In Mendham. In Mendham. Uh, in Mendham. What's, what's the title of the video? This guy. <laughs> oh, most people love it. What's the title of the video, Ben? It's uh, The Amazing Wasted. Wasted. Oh, yeah, it's a great title. An atheist Humiliation. You're garbage, I, I, TJ. I can't remember what site it was on. He he hosts those, like, talks on webcams and shit, and I remember, like, I just went in one out of morbid curiosity, and after questioning him just very lightly for a second, he's like, Fuck you! Get the fuck out of my room! Fuck you, you asshole! Blah, 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 blah. That's his personality. Video to the amazing atheists, and this ain't gonna be pretty. <laughs> uh, but Shocked. yeah, I'm gonna try to avoid the fucking one, you caveman. <laughs> Are you in a factory or something? What is that fucking noise behind him? He's constant air pressure and flow around yeah. him. He just needs it. He has a fucking industrial sized fan. He's going <laughs> kind of bullshit that he pulled it. Yeah, have you ever seen the movie Mask? Oh my uh, god, with, I with Cher? I was gonna say it, I was gonna say it, but. <laughs> okay. There was a reason we used to call him in bread man back in the day. In his so. video. <laughs> All right, it's back on this, um, you know, vegetarian thing again, this animal rights subject. Yep. And uh, he just has to be a fucktard about it. He has to just act as if there's nothing that needs to be argued here. Nothing that's oh, even Oh, Anthony, an you're between a rock and a hard place now. Yeah. Obviously, yes. <laughs> yes. You. Um, he, he argues against other people's confidence with a confidence that's just preposterous. He calls their belief, their knowledge, their, their knowing of the fact that uh, there's something wrong with this system, this animal eating animal, this sentient yeah, eating TJ. sentience. Yeah, okay, TJ. Sentience eating sentience desire. eating sentience. You support murder, buddy. How's it feel, TJ? It's on life. Feeds on this is wrong with that equation. Um, and he looks at that and says, "No, there's not even an issue to discuss." He is so confident. Um, it's I just, am. You know, You're more uh, reprehensible. Cool I'm dream. fucking determined. I'm so confident. TJ watches factory farm videos and jerks off. Oh my god! Yeah, slaughter that fucking piece of shit cow. Separate that family. Kill that it. baby Kill doesn't it. need yeah. love and care. Oh yeah, more McDonald's cheeseburgers to make my man titties grow. You're accusing the cool a drinker kind of thing. I mean, you, you talk about the fat pig calling the pig fat. I mean, jeez. Well, sorry. Didn't want to really go there. Um, You're fat, TJ. Right. Yeah, you just want to throw it out there. Yeah, you did. Didn't want to go there. Come on. 
You didn't want to go there. That, that was the fucking first thing you he's thought so of. So emotionally he, sensitive he, as a person. He looked. He, 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 the fucking first second he saw you, he's like, it, it was like you noticed you were fat. He's like, fucking fat piece of shit. You know that's what he fucking did. Uh, the funny thing is, this guy's like a big anti-natalist and shit. Like his the whole philosophy is basically whining about why was I ever born? I never consented to be born. Are you Wah. joking? Wah. He buys into that shit. Yeah, that's his, like, oh, yeah, he thinks it's, like, this big, uh, esteemed philosoph philosophical position that should be respected and shit. I mean, instead of I didn't have to be bad, but I was. Oh, poor you. That's, like, um, okay. It's such a sad state of It's, affairs. like, if you really hate it that much, then fucking kill yourself. <laughs> he's not doing that, so how, he must not be that upset he's alive. You know, he, but he gets on this whole thing about cannibalism because he just blows up. You know, he takes this guy's clips and it takes them out of context, repeats the well, clips. I mean, really, TJ. this is not what fair clips? use, in my opinion. It's fucking around. All right, to you for oh, your shit. convenience. He might think um, this is not fair use either. His points in context, and he's making the point that effectively, um, it's cannibalism when we eat other animals. Um, I took my shirt off just so people appreciate we are made out of flesh. We are related. Yeah. Yeah. to those animals a lot of related these to related to so i mean I, okay if we're cannibals when we eat animals are lions cannibals when they eat antelope or zebra and shit too are they cannibalistic lions oh shit. They sh you know what they shared a common ancestry tj so what it's cannibalism it just makes we, me upset all life on so earth many, is related it just makes me upset because there's so many stupid vegetarian arguments and I mean, I am vegan and vegetarian. Just makes me feel really bad. It's this is your ilk, depressing. bitch. This is your fucking ilk. I know. Well, hey, you know, all those people who are voting for Trump eat meat too. So there you go. Eat that. Eat that one. So what? So uh, we share 98, 97, 96 percent of our genetic code with these animals. That's where we came from. Uh, atheists um, understand Pretty much the only animal we share, animals we share that much genetic code with are, you know, our nearest yeah, ape, the the great ape ancestors. Apes, yeah. And we're not eating them. I haven't, I mean, maybe some people are. I've never some eaten chimp. I've never eaten bonobo. I've never eaten baboon. I've never eaten orangutan. I've never eaten gorilla. Yeah, uh, maybe. I mean, you know, sure. I'm sure some people somewhere have bush but, meat. Yeah, they, they some people do. But uh, I've never eaten it, so whatever. I never had a gorilla burger. I don't know if I turned one down though. Maybe I maybe I would. You're a piece of like, shit, TJ. You know, might as well see what it's like. You don't get that a, offer too often. Eat a beast burger instead, TJ. All right, here's some penis video that someone sent to me. There's penis. No, yeah. Awesome. Nice. So today I'm going to talk about penises. And penises. What is penises? Did she say penises? <laughs> Did she say peni penises? Okay. Today I'm talking about penises. Hold on, hold on, let's hear it again. Okay. Guys, so today I'm going to talk about penises. And penises. 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 I'm going to talk about penises. Talk about Guys, some penises. So today I'm going to talk about penises. <laughs> All right, Meg, let's take a look at that vagina. <laughs> <laughs> And the word is quite difficult for me to say for some reason, so excuse any weird pronunciation. I could go okay. with the D word, but it's pretty rude, I think, so I'm not gonna do it. Also, this Why video is, is cryptic because I had a What's few things saying? that I really wanted to say, saying and I had to put them in the list. Saying so dick is rude. <coughs> Dead. Someone says penis, you're like, okay, dick. Wait, wait, that's rude. Dick well, is I, rude. I feel, I feel like saying penis wrong is more disrespectful than just saying dick correctly. Yeah, I would agree. As someone with a penis, who could you <coughs> think that I could have an opinion on that? You mean penis. A penis, thank you. So, so if I'm looking here, today. I will do, <laughs> because I'm kind of reading. The reason why I'm doing this video is not because I'm particularly interested in male genitalia, and, but it's more because I feel like I'm forced to acknowledge its existence in my daily life and in situations that would not require mm. the presence of any TJ, do you feel male that's true? Genitalia. Yeah, yeah. Like constantly, TJ, TJ goes to the store, it's like... You can't even live your life without having to acknowledge penises all the time. You walk in, you're like, penis, penis, I have everywhere a penis. Everywhere you go, you know. Phallic symbols everywhere. Like, you know, you ask some guy uh, which way the oatmeal is or something, and he just points with his throbbing erection. <laughs> Like, over there, yeah, yeah, there it is. Oh, it's right there. It's like, oh, God, why'd you have to point with your penis? <coughs> well, also, go into any Happens male bathroom, the and there are penises just drawn all over the walls. Wow. Yeah. 
That's true. Everywhere. Everywhere. Wonder Some of the I'm earliest caveman drawings were penises. Penises, you know, like, sorry. Roughly fifty percent of the population does have a penis. That's that's crazy. Penis. Mm. Uh, penis, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sure you are experiencing or you have experienced as well in your daily life. Yeah. We pay little attention to that precisely because it's very common and it has become so common. But when you think about it a little bit, when you start thinking about it a little bit at least, it becomes I think, at least for me, it became a very strange and uncomfortable thing to think about and to annihilate. So I'm talking about just listing things. Men peeing everywhere, scratching their crotch, opening their legs whenever they sit, drawing penises everywhere, and making... <laughs> I said that, drawing about. penises everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. <laughs> Man spreading. Yeah, it's true. You know, penises are everywhere. So, so is, is she saying that she <laughs> is tired of being reminded of penises everywhere she goes? Yes. yes. Penises. That dude, penises. That dude scratched his crotch. I am reminded of I, the existence of penis. penis. <laughs> how horrible for me. You know, how about, how about you have a little empathy for the guy with the itchy dick? Come on. What if he has a, an uh, issue? What if he has a condition? Yeah. yeah Don't true. say the D word. It's very rude. Say Sorry. penis. Penis. <laughs> The guy with the itchy penis. <laughs> there, Gentilia. It all started for me when I began to start wondering. It all started. Why it sounds like she's she thinking of men as just everywhere. like just meat, objectifying them in a sense. Like she's just thinking of them as a penis. You know. I mean, a even though a guy is maybe a scratching his crotch. Penis. Even though the guy is scratching his crotch, there are many other parts to him other than the penis. Uh, there's no reason to just think of the penis. The penis. What's penis. wrong with this? Sorry. Men, are, men are just objects, though. I mean, come on. I mean, I'm so tired man of these objects, people yeah. objectifying men like this and just just to be acted upon, thinking we're nothing but a penis. 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 Sorry, From, I keep mispronouncing it. I don't know the walls, the boards in classrooms, the doors of toilets, even girls' toilets, or even just well, wait, well, chairs time out, time, time and out. desks. If they're in girls' toilets, who is drawing them there? Men. Clearly men that sneak in or there. Men who sneak in is like, you know what? I'm going to draw a penis in here so these ladies have to look at a penis. <laughs> That's just my way of patriarchally oppressing Inside them. of every stall, there's a big cock on the wall. At uni, I started wondering as well why girls didn't draw vaginas everywhere. I also wondered why we girls didn't make jokes about vaginas. I don't think it's solely about the fact that girls... It's a lot harder to draw a vagina. Yeah. You know, you draw one, I mean... You know, it, it could look like the inside... It could look like a fucking flower. It could look like an eyeball. There's so many things Georgia, it could look like. Georgia O'Keeffe. That's they what say, I was thinking they about. They say her you know? flower paintings look like vaginas. Yeah, man. I actually would love it if women more often would draw sort of that that more that internal diagram where you see kind of the canal and then yeah. the ovaries and then the fallopian tubes over that from sort of like an overhead view and just made a habit of drawing that everywhere. Yeah, girls, get on, get get on that. You know, start fucking making us uncomfortable, putting your shit shit all over the place. You know, expected to you know behave certain way and not uh, and not talk about sexual things. I don't think that's the reason why. But also, why we didn't stop and pee behind trees or just facing walls casually like guys do. And it's not also just about the fact that we cannot pee while standing. Some girls can, and there's actually something that exists that enables you to pee standing up, which is quite a good invention if you ask me. If you're in the wild or hiking, it could be quite um, useful. Isn't it? Okay, sure. Yeah, all, all right. It's pretty simple good in times. my opinion, so just because aggression. that's not something you do. Well, something I mean, is, 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 she, is she upset that men are doing these things and she thinks that they shouldn't, or is she just simply thinking that it's weird that women don't also engage in this behavior and she, th and she thinks that they I'm should? I'm not sure. Because, Who knows? because honestly, if she, if she was encouraging that more, more of that behavior in women, I welcome it. I'm fine with it. Yeah. But I mean, she, is not she just freely toilet. like guys do. That's fine. And the piss classroom everywhere. is not piss a everywhere. As long as you piss on DJ, it's all right. Draw genitalia. Discussions with other people should not be a place for you to talk about your genitalia either, unless it's a discussion that you know deals with genitalia. Basically, I think it's something you don't do if you're polite and if you care about others. And why you're going to ask me? Just because some people, and I think the majority of people, don't want to be reminded 
of your genitalia constantly and when we're in the public and uh, supposedly you know, I've, say I've rarely met anyone who just discusses their genitalia constantly. No, I mean, no this is a case of like... They're out there, sure. This is a case of like well, this. I'll, I'll give you a perfect example. It's like, imagine now, every time you see a red car, it's like a red car. A red car. And then everywhere you go, you just notice red cars everywhere and red this everywhere. It's because you're looking for it. Well, on, honestly, I mean, I, I do think she has a point because... Um, I do care about you guys, and as a result of that, I have not mentioned my penis once during this whole episode of the show. That's so. not true. If you cared, you would be mentioning it more. <laughs> oh, okay. I I thought it was reverse. I was working by her logic. I wasn't working by yours. Yeah. I'll bring up my penis. Uh, I'm disgusted sort of... at how little talk we've had I'm about sorry. your penis this to the show. I'll I'll try to bring it up casually in the next fifteen or twenty minutes or so. Well, I'm sure it'll, we'll have ample opportunity during the Craigslist segment. So. Craigslist. Sure, absolutely. <laughs> Do you want to do you want to get to that now? There, is it ready to go? Yeah, I can. I can. I mean, yeah, we could do it. Sure. All right. Uh, let's see. Boy. I want to hear him read one as Bernie Sanders, and I also want to hear him read one as uh, what was the other voice you did tonight? <laughs> At Alex Jones. I probably yeah, got a few. Yeah, Alex ones. Jones. Oh my God. I want to hear an Alex Jones read, and I want to hear a Bernie Sanders read. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> You'll try your best. I'll do or do best. not. There is no fucking try, bitch. Did you argue with me the other day when I said that to you? I, you did. I did, yes. <laughs> yeah, you're like, that's a bunch of bullshit. You're just fictional character. Oh, my God. What a hypocrite. You want to know why? Because he was like, I'm going to try to quit smoking. I'm like, do oh, or do okay. not. There is no try. Oh, you're, my God. You're, you're just fucking fake. Oh, I see. And, and that's fucking why, nerds. And that's why I got so mad. Because you, you try to take his sweet nicotine. Oh, out. yeah. Oh, yeah, man. That's bullshit. That's a movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. Crazy Craigslist. Yeah, that's it. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. Fuck. Fucking A. Let's go. Hold on, hold on. We're not going to do this one yet. All right. Okay. So... Yeah, well, whose voice are you going to do for this one? I'm doing this one. I don't know, whatever. I want him to do it as Bernie Sanders, because it okay, mentions okay. jobs. All right, hold on. I will bring jobs to this country. <laughs> Who you need a job will be a sex slave, man for man. Hi, so this might be a bit weird. I, I love the double entendre there. I will yes. Yes. <laughs> If you can help me 541 me attain a job, I'll let you own me sexually. And if you want to 705 fuck, I'll bend over and I can get on my knees 506 land, worship you. Wait, 5061 and what are these numbers? Are these I don't know. know. <laughs> and worship you, very few limits. Kind of nice way to combine what I need, job, with what I love to be. Dirty fucking slut. <laughs> Text me with your office. Uh, I think that's his phone number, but he like broke it up. Oh, fucking oh, genius. Yeah, because yeah, I don't think oh. you're supposed to. Yeah. I get it. Got it. Get it, got it good. Uh, I, we'll, we'll save Alex Jones for later. I'll do this one. <laughs> Looking for role play, bud. I'm into doctor, client, <laughs> therapist, client. I like to be the patient. Love, love. What is this? Edging? Edging. What does oh, that mean? Edging. edging. I, I know what that is. That's, um, um yeah, you explain <laughs> that. Go ahead. That's, that's sort of like where you are teased and aroused and sort of, you know, you're engaging oh. in sexual activity, but only to the point where you, you feel like you're about to orgasm. But then once you get to that point, you stop. I see. Okay. 45 year old, five foot seven, 155 pounds, 32 inch waist, HWP, <laughs> clean, discreet, and I host. Ooh. I have the massage table too for checkup, stats, and pics. Thank you. Please. <laughs> No overweight. Boo. No pick. <laughs> Sorry, TJ. No reply. Simply, I will ignore any reply without a pick. I think you've established that. No, no overweights. No overweight Those and nasty. no pick. No pick. It's fat no discrimination. <laughs> Throating? Girl helping? Yes. <laughs> so, who's What? This? Yeah. 
What does it feel like to have a cock in your throat? Having some stranger slowly deep-throating and then faster and faster like a slut. My throat being used as a pussy and being told to take it like a good slut. What does it feel like to have a cock come down your throat, throbbing and sending come to my belly while my throat is forced open to take your sperm? What does it feel like when I agree to be tied up and released after my throat is done being fucked, laying down and putting a gag in my mouth so I can't close my jaw, being used like a personal toy and came inside? If you have a girl helping, what does it feel like for you to be using my throat while a girl sucks me dry? Then, when I came in her mouth, so, so she detailed. would spit my cum in, her, in my mouth <laughs> as you continue to deep throat me. What is it like to be forced to deep throat a dick while, a girl, <laughs> while the girl is holding my head and controlling the speed? <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's just a series of questions. What is it like? Does he want this, this, this to happen, or is he just asking what it, what it's, what it, what it, it's what, like a sexual what philosophy like. course? Like, what is it like? <laughs> Coming to the like true nature of deep throating. I feel like if there was someone who actually had engaged in this behavior, a simple email would suffice, just describing and just answering all of the questions, <laughs> and they'd be like, "Oh, okay, thank you, thank you for answering my questions." Thanks. Question. Really <laughs> was curious about some of that stuff. <laughs> Okay, uh, maybe you should do this one as Alex Jones, or should we? No, no, we need a longer one for. All right, um, Scotty okay. will do this. Reward. Okay, what's the title? <laughs> Reward. Fart on my dick. Title says it all. Almost. I have a fetish and need a woman. Age, race, and size unimportant. Though big booty better to. <laughs> <laughs> to, <coughs> to fart on my little will <laughs> <laughs> Willie and tell no one will at will <laughs> and tell no one will ever give me <laughs> will ever give me a blowjob as my dick smells. <laughs> Simple hay rewards <laughs> negotiable. Simple hay? Simple hay? <laughs> Simple hay? <laughs> Uh, Scotty? Simple hay? Simple hay. <laughs> Simple hay. Simple hay, hay. Simple hay. Simple hay. Simple hay. Simple hay. <laughs> Humiliate me as my dick will not work. This, should oh, be this, for, this is Alex Jones. This right should here. be for TJ. No, this should be Alex Jones. No, I mean, it, it is. It defines you is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. In real life. <laughs> All right. Well, let me, let me read the title. Um... Oh my god. I can only do it shouting. Uh, Angry Alex uh, Jones. Angry Alex Jones. Humiliate me as Humiliate me as me dick will not work. Bears Avenue. <coughs> like the title says, my little dick will not get hard or work now. But I am still up and wound up. Please come over and make fun of my soft dick. Humiliate me. <laughs> like a street crack whore that walks up and down Nebraska. Just just Nebraska. Mid 50. <laughs> Five foot nine inches tall, 185 pounds, a total submissive, kinky, raunchy whore bottom. Please treat me <laughs> like a whore I am. When I am wound up, very few limits here. Come sit your ass on my face, and I crave eating an all natural ass. <laughs> all natural. Use my mouth as you see fit. Spit, come, piss, shit, you name it. NSA, you will. <laughs> You just be a dominant, kinky, or raunchy top man, or you humiliate me and make fun of me, the more intense it gets. Skinny twinks, if you want to join <laughs> <on> the <laughs> make fun of me, use me for your pleasure, feel free to hum, NSA. Skinny twinks. <laughs> he really wants the NSA to know what he's doing. He's like, what he's doing there is telling the NSA, like, record this shit about me. No strings attached, Scotty. Was, no, uh, he wants the NSA to track him, TJ. Come on. Is well, that my daddy? <laughs> I wanted to uh I wanted to say I took I took slight issue with a, a voice that TJ did in the last episode where he did an NPR voice. Yes. Yeah. NPR. NPR. So I mean I could I could quite easily do that voice that I used to do on the radio. <laughs> do it. Um uh, You're listening to WDP, the Drunken Peasants Radio. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, read this in that voice. All right. I'm a good man, well-educated, fit, and strong. I seek the young lady who imagines the depth of intimacy she can find in the arms of an older man. She is seeking what I am seeking. And what better way to make a strong and meaningful connection than that of a father and daughter love? Is that you, daddy? Yes. Yes, that's my daddy. It is. <laughs> Standing there in front of me now, calling my hand to your arms. Is it you? Is, is it you, isn't it? You, the one I want. You, the one I need. <laughs> is, is, is this a fucking journey song? <clears throat> you, a good man, a real man. I, I am compelled to your embrace. I feel your hand on my head. I smell your maleness. I what? hear your words of encouragement, daddy. Yes, yes, daddy, is it you? Seeking my little girl for fun and just for fun. Uh, that's pretty disturbing. <laughs> this this person's looking to sponsor muscle guys. There you go, TJ. Oh, like in, uh, in like bodybuilding competitions? Uh, I guess. I'm going to go with this tr traditional pervert voice for this. Okay. Any muscle guys need a sponsor in exchange for... <sighs> I have a confession to make. I'm obsessed with big, thick, sculpted muscles. I find young, muscular guys to be incredibly hot. I'm wondering if there are any guys out there who fit this description that may be looking for a sponsor. I'd be happy to provide supplements, food, etc. in exchange for the ability to enjoy <laughs> your muscles as often as I want. I'm 100% serious about this, and I... Desperately hoping that there is a muscular guy out there interested in and looking for this kind of arrangement. Please, please be young, preferably white and muscular. Please provide a recent photo and stats. I hope to hear from you soon. This could be a great situation for both of us. This is like if the uh, Joker oh. had some <laughs> fetish like that. Yeah. Mm, spank me, muscle man. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, I, th I think I think we've done enough. All right, show's over then. Uh, show? Show over? Uh, I or mean, we could go little, for a little, little, little bit. more. Yeah, yeah, we got a little bit more time. Anthony's going to sing us a song, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Do it. Actually. Do it. Do it, you fucking piece of goddamn useless shit. Why be an atheist? Why be an atheist? Why be an atheist when there's so many awesome faiths? You could be. Come on, everybody. Hindu. You could be. Muslim. Muslim. You could be. Satanist. You could be. I don't know. Sim uh, why be an simple atheist? Simple manist. Or, no, what is it called? You could be a pagan, Not simple TJ. Simple man, living man. You can be a pagan. Worship many gods. Pagan. There's so many gods. There's so many faiths. What's on your shirt, Anthony Fantano, you piece of fucking vegan shit? Uh, it's actually a pencil drawing what of the What is on your fucking shirt? It's a pencil drawing of the crucifixion of Satan. Show me the fucking shirt, shirt, shirt you piece of goddamn shit. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. What a disturbing so you want to play some kind of video or something, or what are we doing? You're going to fuck his ass and he's going to be home. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, shit. Take off your fucking sunglasses. Fuck you. Take them off. Oral sex. Take them off. Oral sex. Oral sex. Anal sex. Oral sex. Anal sex. Oral sex. Anal Oral sex. sex parties. There he is. Oh, my God. Put him back on. You look way cooler. Anal <laughs> sex. Oral sex. Oral sex. Anal sex. Oral sex. You're a cruel mistress, TJ. Now, what about nostril sex? Take it off! Put it back on! Nostril sex! <laughs> nostril sex! I think it's TJ's true fetish. At the you end, don't need at the end of the day, sex. when it all comes down to it, TJ is just like, nostril sex is a thing for me. Stick a dick in your nostril, baby. Uh, this is me reminding you guys of my penis. 
penis. Penis. Yeah. I said oh. I would. All right. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm sure we have something else here. Yeah. Play it. Play it. Let's see. I kind of skipped around, so I'm just looking for the best one here. Play the fucking video. Ah, oh, play. Ben is playing with his penis. Play my penis. Yeah. yeah. Ben, I'm working stop, one-handed. Ben, stop I'm playing working with your one-handed penis. here. Let Scotty play with it, and you find the video. All right. Oh, yeah. Eggman. Here, I fucking hate Eggman. I didn't think I was going to have to This is an Eggman. I don't no, think, that, that, is it? On 4chan, that guy is known as Eggman. <laughs> but unfortunately, oh, okay. it's become apparent to me that you just haven't learned. You're still living in fucking La La Land. Fuck La La Land. Little fantasy world where everything's going to be okay. Fucking La La Land, land man. Fuck it, burr, burr, burr. Who and smoke. Somebody. It's not gonna happen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He looks like he's like he looks like he's like thirty five, forty, but he has kind of like the attitude of a sixteen year old. I was reading some threads last night. Yeah. Oh God, he is. I was reading some fucking threads. Fucking threads, man. man. Some people did me, man. Stupid people. No, that was just the usual stuff on there. Bunch of bullshit. People were talking about. Somebody posted some Tinder experiment. Screen caps. You already know how Tinder experiments go. You know how okay Cupid experiments go. We know how it goes, but people, there's new people on the board, all right? More oh, Redditors, wow. more underage kids, more Tumblr, white knights and shit. You already know how it is. <coughs> they don't know, okay? Yeah. Uh -huh. They don't get it. <laughs> I gotta tell them. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, like I gotta school them right now. I'm afraid. Yeah. Wish I didn't have to, but I got to, okay? Oh my god, get to the fucking point. None of these people no. can ever get to the fucking point. A every man. dumbass on the internet takes fucking 25 minutes to It'd be make one thing any if it was at least point. a goddamn entertaining digression or I'll something, but it's not. The internet, and there's these threads. You gotta tell these kids, man. These kids gotta know, man. <laughs> you kids are living in La La Land, right? <laughs> these four shad kids, you, man, they didn't you know. know. Every, Tinder, every little thing you do, you're thinking, oh, this next thing I... They're experimenting on him, man. They're taking him out to fucking, to fucking lab. They're experimenting on him. These Tumblr kids, they don't fucking know. They don't know, man. No one Dude, knows gonna what be a, it's like. It's gonna be what, to uh, you know, Tumblr I'm lonely, kid. I can't find a girl. Getting experiments. I'm fucking loser, blah, blah, blah. Next thing I do, you. it's gonna be the... It's gonna be the, the last thing I gotta do. This is just the last little step I gotta Shut do. Shut up. And then I'm getting the... Then I'm gonna be getting the ladies, and I'm doing this. If I go, what? Listen, buddy. Oh man, just, no, just, uh, just stop. Uh, Listen, buddy. No girl's ever gonna love you, man. I'm afraid it's not no quite that easy. You, you, See, you can um, end up like me. I'm, just, I'm just too much for the ladies. <laughs> if you're reading Tinder experiments, if you're reading OK Cupid experiments, you're probably already too so, fucking far gone. All right, you're he, probably he's already hurt that someone makes some fake profiles on these sites of him, and people just probably just tore him to shit. And he had no success. So that's what it sounds like to me. It sounds like he's just, well, I mean, I know that he's just upset that he doesn't get laid, that women don't want to sleep with him. And he's kind of telling other people, you're never going to make it, man. You're a loser, too, just like me. I'm never going to make it, bro. It was in your car smoking yeah. a cigarette complaining to other you people probably on the just internet. aren't cut out <coughs> to make it, okay? There was just a thread I was just reading just now. Some guy, 14-year-old kid or whatever, found his, his some girl he grew up with. They were dating. They were whatever, and they were 18 years old. All they were right, saving each other. What, what, what he looks like to me and see if this sounds right to you. He looks like someone threw acid in Paul Giamatti's face. Uh-huh. <laughs> I can kind of see it. Yeah. He, to, me, he just, to me, he just looks like... <laughs> To me, he literally looks like a little boy puppet come to life and grown up. <laughs> I can see like, that too. Like he could have just had a little cherub face as a tiny boy puppet, and then he came to life because his his, his creator wished it to be so. God made him a real boy, and he You're aged from it. he aged from six with that cherub face to I don't know what he looks thirty six right now, but I'm guessing he's probably eighteen or twenty five or something. <laughs> That's real great. We're just there not gonna you know, make it, got, man. Seeing himself all and anybody who any any bitter loser who had been seeing this shit. Um, so yourself? Uh 
been paying attention to these kids or whatever. You know, some background character in their lives. Um, a bitter fucking loser. Uh, the lack of self-awareness here is, like, just almost scary. <laughs> these fucking guys, these losers, sit in their fucking car, make videos about they don't get laid. Man, those guys sure do fucking suck. It's like, <laughs> uh, uh, what? Uh, all right. But thought to himself, oh, man, that had just been me. Hey, Scotty, just don't, been- don't you have some kind of contest? Oh, yeah. Do you guys, you'll be able to do that now? Yeah. Yeah, we might as well get into that. <laughs> yeah, get the Scotty the fuck has, out of here. Scott- you, do you want the greatest prize of all Scotty. time? Yes. A pot of gold? It's a John Cena shirt. What size is it, Scotty? XL. It's XL. And it will be signed by all three drunken peasants. Let's tell them the rules, Scotty. You need... Just basically send, like, uh, I think we're doing an art contest, so it's going to be a uh, John Cena DP crossover, so whatever you want to do, just throw in someone from the Drunken Peasants, all the Drunken Peasants, and John Cena. You know, I'm sure nothing degrading will come in from that. <laughs> and uh, Pictures of, D- of DP DPing John Cena. That could be it. Uh, but you need to send this to contest. At the drunkenpeasants.com. Is it the drunkenpeasants.com or is it no, just drunk? Dr- just drunkenpeasants.com. All right, contest at drunkenpeasants.com. And the subject line needs to be CP John Cena contest. <sighs> Any other bullshit is deleted. Dun 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 dun. Yes. Don't dun, send dun, a penis dun, picture. Dun, Don't dun, send dun, a dun. <laughs> Happy birthday, Anthony. Well, I'm sure they will, but who cares? We're, we're signing off, everybody. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed happy it. Happy birthday, bitch! And go tell Thank Anthony uh, happy birthday on his fucking shitty garbage Eat some channel. fucking tofu! Yeah, I'm all fucked. Eat a vegan fucking cheesecake! Tofurkey okay. on my plate, open for, for business. business. Turkey on my plate, close for business. Oh, it's like it's supposed to be your plate. Whatever. Oh, uh, whatever. Anyway, Sh- show's over. Happy birthday. Dive Good in. night, everyone if else. You exploit animals. My crotch is close for business. Oh yeah. And that's it.